And we're still trying to get the... We haven't gotten the bombs from uh, the Wolfman yet. Correct. He was running up towards you guys. Yeah. Still got the bag. Oh, I actually know why I'm here. I need to give them my bomb. Uh, were we going to get... Uh, we'll how many... You know what? Oh, Fuck no. it. Yeah, let's just get them all. Let's just put all our eggs in this one basket. Hell Fuck yeah. It. If it doesn't work, we'll lose. Cool. We're, let's just get all our eggs. Who needs plan B? This is plan B. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably on like D or F by now. Yeah. As far as, like plans. Uh-huh. Uh, is that a uh, wall that's not kind of high or can I just voice myself? No, that's, 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 I'm, gonna, uh, I'm just going to let everyone know I can't see the map. So does it drive oh, you to restart fantasy rounds? Uh, oh. Yeah, no, 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 no. I just haven't shared it to you. Uh, ben just, he must have pulled it from the map. I saw him moving, so I hadn't thought about it. Uh, but anytime, yeah. you know, won't matter much soon. But uh, if you, uh, anything that I've already shared, you can actually grab the image. God, the phrase, it won't matter much soon, coming from a DM, sounds haunting. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean that. It would be also because you'll be dead. But what, hopefully we won't be a... Don't worry, guys. It won't matter in like five minutes. It really won't. Yeah, don't worry too much about your character's backstories and your hopes and dreams. Yeah, don't, don't, don't worry. <laughs> Who was uh, collecting the bombs? Pogo, Sarah, Artemis? Yep. Pogo well, and you, Sarah. You could you just come throw running them in the bag of the werewolf. Yeah, yeah. So you're coming up the stairs. You see Launder's running like alongside you. So as you come by, he's running up the stairs as well. Uh, and then Ozzy is uh, the astral projection of Ozzy is on the stairs too. Okay. Then I hand over my bombs, and then uh, oh, for my uh, action, I'll dash that way I actually have enough movement. And I probably okay. have a couple squares of one to start moving that that way. I think that's probably all I have. Okay. All right. Then you rush up the stairs. Uh, Launder, as he's running by, uh, realizes what you're intending to do. Uh, reaches the hand out. You you kind of give him the bag with the four bombs you had. You know, has eleven. Uh, and kind of turn and, and begin to, to rush your way back out there. Uh, it is the Isokwen Dice Squad's turn. Um, I'm just going to have you guys roll the, the percentile dice. Uh, I don't I know how to do it. I rolled eight. shitty the last two times, so someone else do <laughs> All right, who wants to roll the percentile? I will. Right. Don't worry, guys. We'll take this fucking thing out. Nick? All right. So uh, the, the clanking above you is a little bit louder and louder, and you can hear the, the sounds of rock beginning to crack. Uh, looking up, you do see that they've made it uh, nearly halfway through this. And remember, you don't uh, imagine chopping a tree down, right? You don't actually have to get 100% of the way through before the tree will fall, if that makes sense, right? Everybody understand that? Yep. Yeah. So they're, they're about halfway through, but it does, they don't necessarily need to get 100%. Uh, so they're, they're continuing to crack away at that with... Uh, uh, three of them now uh, hammering away at the base of the stalactite with uh, uh, with picks. It is Olwyn's turn. Uh, still eyes beating uh, and clearly under the uh, not under her own control. Uh, she is going to for her action. Uh, she is going to uh, let's see. You see her her eyes kind of flare, kind of a deep red, and I need. Pogo, Sarah. Is this anything I can R. I can use cutting words on? Is this an attack? Uh, it's actually, well, it'll be a save because we'll need to make a save. Uh, Spell? No, I don't think that works with cutting. Well, does it? No, it doesn't work. So here's the thing: it's it's not technically now. If she was the one casting it, then yes. But because she is under the control, then it's a it's a uh, an ability uh, that mimics a spell as a bonus action. All right. Uh, it, so normally, yes. In this particular instance, no. Uh, this, is, this is only her controlled version of it, not the regular version of the spell. Um, it is a wisdom save. You have to beat a 15. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Ah! <laughs> really? <laughs> Off to a good start, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Well, they, they could be worse. I'm so glad we have a plan, guys. <laughs> you guys had a whole extra week. To, 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 you know, out a plan. The plan is solid. The plan is solid. We just don't know what we're going up against. That's the problem. <laughs> so uh, it is um, an effect that as soon as she, she, her eyes kind of beam this bright red, instilling kind of shiver down your spine for the three of you, uh, and she murmurs the word just, just quiet, but you you hear it echoing through your heads. The three of you. She says, "Approach," um, and you the the word. Uh, just ringing through your heads. It's not towards her. It's out into the water. Out towards the creature. 
uh, you are under the effects of command, and you have to, on your next turn, use your entire movement to, uh, you still have your actions, the most actions we have to try to get to try to get to get out of the water. Uh, that's her bonus action. For her action, shit, I should have put that first, so I think that can break. Just a heads up, you're cutting out for me. Is, is he cutting out for anyone else? Yeah. yeah. Am I? Yeah. Let me try turning this down here. There we go. Uh, and then turn it right back up on accident. Say, uh, just say a Super nice sentence. Realistic expialidocious. That's better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I I know what it is, and it was a, a change that I made like two three weeks ago, and I keep meaning to fix it. I just haven't had time. I keep forgetting to you know make the time to fix it. Uh, so, anyways, I'll, I'll try to remember to fix that before we move. Uh, I think it's so, so adorable when you're like, I just didn't have time. As a DM, I'm just like, I just don't really care. I'm like, eh. <laughs> Sorry, well, guys. This, this is just how it is now. <laughs> the setup you use is a lot easier to work with. Like, I have so many fucking plates to spin. Here, in fact, mm. literally, I sent this. Uh, I put this on here earlier, but uh, uh, the, the screen setup that I use here, I'll put it in our other chat, Joseph. So guys, um, I use uh, literally like this little thing on roll twenty, where just I just click one like little thing every once in a while, <laughs> <laughs> and then if the music doesn't match, oh well, that's yeah. that's what the music is playing, guys. I put a lot of effort into this, you know, and, 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 and thankfully, like a, a big a majority of that is just to kind of get fantasy grounds working the way that I need it to, um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to a lot of that being alleviated. It'll, it'll help prep time a ton. Uh, so, anyways, with uh, with the bonus action, she used a command against all of you, um, and I have to check that real quick because I think that can break with damage. Yeah, and we basically uh, just have to walk towards the water. So yeah, so he, she specifically said approach. So the target moves towards you by the shortest, most direct route, ending its turn if it moves within five feet of you. Question: uh, As a uh, direct route, would it allow us to jump off? Would we? Yeah, it's not going to assume. It's not going to assume swimming. I'm going to say that you basically jump over the wall. You'll need to jump down the wall and then start walking down the platforms, not not jump into the water. Rather, if that makes okay. sense. Okay. Um, although, it's it's I, I think it's supposed to be a way that wouldn't be harmful, and jumping straight over that wall would probably be harmful. Yeah. So down the stairs. That's because I yeah. think you're not supposed to bring direct immediate harm. Like you can't tell someone to kill themselves. Yeah. Stab. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. So the the approach one. Holy is, uh, shit. Shortest and most direct route in each turn within five feet, which would be forever. Uh, but it's only for one turn, so it's not really, you know, it just it just means you can't use your movement elsewhere, basically, for, for that. Uh, but that said, it is not broken with damage, and she is going to then uh, use her phantasmal force. Do, 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 uh... Oh, natural one is not going to work. Natural nine. Uh, that would not hit. What is Artemis or uh, Sarah? Yours is eighteen right now, right? Uh, I think <laughs> Got a one, a nine, and a five. I don't think she's gonna hit it. <laughs> <laughs> she rolled real awful. Uh, so it is Bogo's turn. So I am just gonna move my use my movement five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five to walk up here. Now here's a question. That's as far as I can get. Can I? Use, can I grab the bag of bombs right now? Um, you still have your action and bonus action. Basically, well, you still have your no, you have control of yourself. You're not so I feel like I can walk. I have to move closer, but I can do other things if I want to. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and grab the big bag of fucking bombs and okay. uh, uh, grab that. And I'm gonna also tell them that I'm charmed, but I'm, I'm charmed and have to walk towards the thing. So is. Sarah, as I as I'm making my way no, no, down no, here, you've got a bleeding hole in the back of your head that you just grabbed a, a then, bag that's heavier than you are and is starting to pull you down the stairs and because I, it's heavy. Yep, and I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to use my action to start singing a little ditty, um, and I'm going to try to use my uh, my ability of. Uh, your counter charge. Yeah, bard counter charm um, to where I'm just going to start singing a song, kind of like a, a little rhyme. And um, I'm, I'm going to sing that while I start walking towards the stairs with, with a tear <laughs> coming out of my eye. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to die. All right. Um, then, so Launder's running up the stairs. That's you try right. to grab the bag out of his hand. Uh, and immediately, as you, you try to pull it from him, you can feel the weight of this thing is literally, literally heavier than you are. 
with you know the two bags together now essentially the one that he had previously was oh, seven are we going to get back into the over encumbrance conversation uh, not even, even over encumbrance but rather these are this is a bag of bowling balls that uh you know are starting to slide down the stairs with you holding on to them <laughs> so, so well, well i guess we'll leave it at that for the moment yeah. but unless you you know unless you're going to let go if you know that uh, i would say the launder probably doesn't immediately hand it to you but you would immediately recognize that they are heavy too heavy for you to be able to carry all of them like that oh, geez, remember he's, yeah. he's quite big and he's been like dragging a leg and trying to carry them the whole time how many are there uh 11 now it follows two, two separate bags from seven one four that's only like are they they're like five pounds six <sighs> pounds how much is a bowling ball weigh? Eight, eight pounds uh it depends i mean like 16 pounds to 20 pounds depending on the size you need Jeez. I mean, different sizes, like eight, eight to fifteen or something like that. Yeah, I mean, it's on the size you need, but you know, so it's one hundred and seventy-six pounds. Let's say it's sixteen pounds right. to be one hundred, and you weigh forty. So you can, you can see how this, this math isn't going to work. Yep. Is that going to be too much weight for the broom with the uh, logo and the bag? The limit was four hundred for a normal one, oh. and I think like with the with yours being broken, I think it's three hundred, right? See if I, it says in the inventory. So I am going to see here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you can try to hold on to it. You're just going to be going for a uh -huh, ride. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> um. Uh, fly, carry up to 200 pounds, but if flying speed becomes 30, uh, so it's 200 normally. Then Becky. So that means that uh, with it broken, we'll call it like. Wait, hang on. No, I think I already adjusted it. It's it's, it's supposed to be higher than that. It's two hundred. It, it's full amount is two hundred pounds total right now. Okay. Okay. No, that's uh, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna start singing Counter Charm, <laughs> and uh, then I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing that, and I'm gonna do my best to hold on to this giant bag of uh, what feels <laughs> to me like boulders. <laughs> what do you got in here? A bunch of buckles. <laughs> so yeah, that's my turn. All right. Sounds good. Uh, Ozzy is uh, uh, going to uh, turn and, and look at you and say, can't you ever get any nice friends? And he's going to step forward and try to uh, lightning bolt her. Sorry, Ozzy! <laughs> she was strained. <laughs> and he got a fucking 2 plus 1 for a total of... No, she... Sorry, her save. Never mind. So her save sucks. She got a 2 plus 1. So this is her fourth roll so far for this session. And they were all below 10. If it, if it matters, she's also been pretty shitty as like a uh, help helper too. So she hasn't been rolling great the entire she time. Helped you guys, she helped you guys a lot. She really did not. She she <laughs> helped us like one time. Um, she she kept those scary trees from eating you guys. Eh. <laughs> we were on, that was how are we more on guard walking through the apparently not that bad trees. <laughs> And then we get down here and we're just like, whatever, guys. We get for three. This yeah. is literally session number three of I'll this long ass boss fight. <laughs> Map. You know? And you guys are like, yeah, we'll just we'll figure it out when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> and this. Oh, let me warn you guys too. By the way, this is the first time that you guys will actually see what I'm doing because I'm going to tell you. But it has layer actions and it has legendary actions. Oh, so it's got yeah, like some really like it, it can act a lot, a lot more often than a regular creature would. Literally at the end of everybody's turn, it can act um, and and has layer actions as well. So like it's it's a very dangerous fight, of course, as you guys you know would have expected. Uh, but just keep that hey, in mind. Remember, guys, though, we got the thing to Ozzy, so <laughs> your friend's gonna be okay. That's we might not? all die, but no, no. I don't think, yeah. Did you think that's what that was, Justin? Wasn't that the thing we originally came here to get? No. no. Oh, never mind. Now, Popa might think that because it did look like that was something they were holding on to. But yeah. no, that was that was the thing that, that uh, Sarah had already found one of them. It's, it doesn't appear that's not unique anyways, let's say. Oh, uh, damn And it. the wood forest is for sure unique. I legit thought that was the majig. All right. <laughs> Back to the game. Yeah, that's, that, that's particularly bad. Like, I was like, okay, well, mission accomplished. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was about to actually tell the party too. Like, we got it. Let's go. All right. So, uh, Ozzy stepping oh, up to the top oh. of the stairs, just got natural projection of Ozzy, uh, sends a lightning bolt through Olawin, uh, and she immediately is, is choking and and looks like she's kind of packing in place, uh, uh, doubled over and not moving. She is, is extremely bad shape. Uh, it is there, sir. Uh, 
and you have again your first action has to be to uh, try to get to the warrior. Right. So I had said I was on the broom. Yeah. So. Oh. Are you a straight hand, which does take you directly through a tennis ball, essentially. And counter charm doesn't do anything. I'm guessing. Uh, so I specifically googled that, wondering if it would. If there was no mention of it, because counter charm is not an ongoing effect. It's basically right now you do this as soon as your turn starts. Uh, it's not like a. It doesn't have an ongoing effects. So it's broken by counter charm. Got it. Pogo would not have known that. He would have just been like, "This has worked in the past. It's gotten me laid." <laughs> no. I would go up five feet because I was barely off the ground. Okay. So that only gives me forty-five feet of movement, and that puts me right there. All oh, right. Wait. I would have. I would have dashed. So mm-hmm. five, ten. Oh wait, no. Um, uh, if you use your action to. Would counter- I have used my action as a dash though? Because you said well, I had an action, no, but no, it's just, it's just a speed. It doesn't say you have to use your action for anything else. Oh, okay. So, mm-hmm. so theoretically, you'd still be able to use your action for whatever you choose. Cool. Uh, 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 Becky just has the broom, which has a you know a speed, speed of sixty, I think, is what she was doing. Yeah, it just made my brain remember about that dash was a thing that existed in this world. Gotcha. All right, uh, as you are flying over the the water, where you see the tentacle kind of rising above the waves, uh, it does whip up and try to smack you uh, off of the broom. Yeah. Actually, it's going to attempt to grapple you. It's an opportunity attack, but you got a seven for a total of fourteen. <laughs> so, uh, Fuck you, it, it tentacle! Tries to, it tries to wrap around your, the foot of your kind of shadowy form, um, and the, the kind of smoky shadowy like form just slips right out of it, and you continue sailing past. Any right. action or protections? I can do anything I want with my action, right? Yeah, you're not. It, it, it's specifically only that you have to use your regular movement to approach. Sweet. Then I'm going to cast Chaos Bolt at Oluwin. Okay. That bitch. Oh, damn it. That hits. Oh, sweet. She is that high. I don't think she's wearing a lot of armor. Right? She's just like a... <laughs> yeah, fuck you! And I was gonna have sex with you later! <laughs> well, that would be real easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, still, it's still on the table. I mean, well, let's see. We'll figure it out. Just resurrect it. That's right. Uh... <laughs> uh where did she go here? Uh, she had two hit points left, by the way, after the lightning bolt. The lightning bolt really fucked her up. Uh, that's still a good hit, but uh, the the bowl, uh, or the ball, rather, uh, of what flavor was that? Oh, oh, Becky? What flavor? I love it. Two and seven, so that would shit, hang on. Bring that back up. Uh, we will do psychic damage. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, for real? Is that what you're going to pick? <laughs> uh, nothing happens. She's fine. She's totally what? fine. <laughs> this uh, this ball uh, uh, flows through her, squares through her head. You you imagine that with because she's bowled over like like just cool, an, an cool, cool, cool. Suffering, like electric, <laughs> and the it just passes square through her, and uh, nothing seems to happen. She seems perfectly fine. Oh my god! Hey, Jeremy, you know what's funny is you uh, put that picture of your control center on yeah. the group chat. Yeah. So so Victor's like, that's intense. Yeah, I saw it. I saw his text. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I am going to... <laughs> Good choice, Maggie. <laughs> She's immune to psychic damage. Yep. Well, I was... <laughs> inspiration. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, what are you doing with your inspiration? I am going to use my cantrip. <laughs> <laughs> right. Firebolt. Okay, go ahead. Her not high. You must still be able to finish her off. Son of a. Nope, and that misses. Yeah, you can't even reroll because it was a. It was a. Ooh. You had. You had. You had advantage and disadvantage. What were those from? What? It shows that you have advantage and disadvantage, which would be a flat roll. Why? Dude, I don't Did know. You? We've all died a bunch of times and all sorts of weird shit. Uh, I don't see any reasons on you, and as far as on her... Oh, she has... So she has magic resistance, which means she'd have advantage... Oh, oh it was because she's still unconscious. It still shows she's unconscious, that's why. But it would still be a flat roll. So a flat roll is still a two, so it's still the same result. But she is uh, not unconscious anymore. So. Yep. That... That... <laughs> oh, that was a perfect, perfect turn. Good job. God damn it. I should have just went with cold damage and froze her ass. The cold would have been fine. Would have been perfectly fine. It was literally the only one that, that was, she was immune to was psychic damage. Because <sighs> the other psychic creatures, of course. 
Uh, Launder then, for his free action, uh, does pass the bag to Pogo. Sees Just that, that Pogo is starting of, being like yanked. What's that? Real quick, out of curiosity, this what we're whatever we're under. Do we get a roll at the beginning of our turn to see if we get out of it? Do we know? Or no? uh, it's already it's over. Okay. You already no. It's already oh. like it's done. You already did it. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah like okay. if, if if it was done again, which it can be, then you would have to do it on the next turn as yeah, well. I, I get uh, it. But it's like it's not an ongoing effect. It's literally just Oof, okay. turn. Yeah. So you've already you're already like out of that effect. Uh, but Launder, seeing though that he's tried, you know that you try to grab the bag from him, he kind of begins to let it go. Sees that it like is yanking your arms out of your sockets, and then just re grasps the bag. Uh, what do you? I mean, I can hold on to it, but I, I, I'm afraid you can't, little man. Yeah. Yeah, this is one? a problem. Um, he reaches in his he hands you one. Oh. I mean, it's 20 pounds. It's half your weight, so... We'll call it... I, I call the other one 16, so we'll call it 16 pounds. All right. I will, uh... Take... Take that one. And, uh... <laughs> that's... That's... I guess... Can I... Can I... How many can I... How many do I think... Now that I've felt the bag and started to fall forward, how many do I think I can hold? I'll even at roll for two. it. It would be okay. at most two... Can I, and can I would I, say that you'd be at disadvantage like to for decks of any kind. Uh, uh, I'll just grab two. one then. So now I have well, I already had one, so now I have two. Okay. All right, so I got uh, two bombs. Carry, you know, if you put it in your bag, it wouldn't be quite as bad, but, but uh, quite as bad. But carrying them in your hands is going to be very difficult. All right. Um, it's easier to control the weight if it's in a backpack or something. Yeah, that's true. And I guess he just has a big bag of them, so that wouldn't work. Yeah. Uh, I'll just put that in the bag with my other one. All right. So you've got two of them then. Uh, he then, let's see, is Artemis injured? Is P- Pogo's got some injuries? Uh, as, as then, as he's handing it to you, uh, and you grasp a hold of the ball, he reaches down and grabs onto your wrist and is going to cast uh, Cure Wounds as well. Uh, second level for you, so an extra 12 plus 4, 16 uh, health healed for Pogo. Yay! Five wounds now. Oh, and- appreciate it very much. Uh, he then, Don't worry, uh, by the way. We've been in these situations numerous times. Everything's fine. Just keep doing your best. You're a rock star, and I'm going to give the finger guns. <laughs> with with one hand, because you're like, yeah. straining to carry the bomb with the other. Uh, Single he, gun. <laughs> uh, he by the way, it, can I just say, one-handed finger guns in my head seems so much the opposite of what two-handed finger guns are supposed to mean. One-handed Two- finger guns can be cool. I don't know. Two-handed finger guns are like, good job. One-handed finger guns, I can't seem to make it to where it doesn't look like... Yeah, it does look sarcastic. Yeah, yeah it does come yeah. off sarcastic. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. So uh, he runs up to the uh, to the crenellation there and then leans down against the wall, like ducking down to, to not have to you know be viewing the creature out there. That is it for his turn. Uh, and then we come... Actually, hang on. Uh, Ten has room to try to smack Sarah. So it is going to attempt to do so. Oh, hang on. No, it wasn't 10's turn. Sorry, 10 was earlier. Uh, 10 was after Olawan, and you were not there at the time. You had not moved yet. So never mind. Okay. Uh, ben, are you are you talking? I can't tell if it's you talking or if it's an echo or something. You trying to say something? No. Oh, it's me talking. <laughs> oh, okay. You're not yeah. hearing myself an echo. That's what it is. <laughs> I, I like it. I just That's just funny to me. I don't know why. I mean, we sounded similar enough, anyways. Everybody always said so when we were kids. I mean, to me, it never sounds. You guys the same. both have very deep brokes, very, yeah. very bassy, very uh, throaty voices. Throaty. Yeah. <laughs> deep throaty <laughs> voices. <laughs> deep throaty guys. All right. <laughs> I didn't even get the deep throaty part. That's even better. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, I think we're like super pissing off Fox. So I guess like all. Oh, She's like, when's my turn? <laughs> oh, we're still here. I'm still here. All right, uh, quality banter. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. You can't do that. Um, uh, you know what? I think because for the layer actions, I'm going over what the layer actions are, and you guys aren't close enough for most of them. But um, Becky, give me a. It is a intelligence save versus a fifteen. Uh. All right. Oh! Uh, you 
staring into the creature's eyes because it is like you know remember it is well above it's much much even taller than you it's like a you know think of it like a hill sticking up out of the water and like undulating the waves um but the creatures you know the eyes are like almost eye level with you essentially uh and it is staring at you with this, this row of these three eyes together and is trying to um force you to to think and feel things and, and you're, you're managing to hold it off uh preventing it from doing so uh but that was it for its layer actions it is now its actual turn um with you there it gets three attacks and is going to actually I can't reach you huh um, the tentacles are there, but that wouldn't be what it wants. It's going to, uh, since you are trying to repel its uh, mental assault, it is going to attack you with its brain instead. Uh, it is a plus nine to hit. Uh, for a 14, which still uh, similarly is trying to uh, infuriate it that you are repelling its assault, uh, it's angry, and you feel its rage attempting to, to attack you uh, unsuccessfully as you, you repel that as well. Um, and that is the bonus action. Um, it's going to command again. So another fourteen? No, seventeen. Uh, with say seventeen. With seventeen. Just Sarah. Yeah, just Sarah. Shitty. Oh, oh wait. No. Uh, yeah. Command command again to approach. Seventeen. Seventeen is the save. For its bonus action, yeah. Man, for, me and Seraphina are fucking too dumb for this <laughs> shit. It's uh, not it's, gonna uh, work out. As bonus actions, it has command, fear, and hypnotic pattern, and technically oh. fantastical force as well. So, like, some really fucked up mental stuff for, for as bonus actions. Like, that's not even you know to physically hit you. That's just to, to debilitate you and then hit you. All right, it is Artemis turn finally. Artemy was the literally the, the last person to go before last before the end of last week's session. So she had that entire time uh, before you know because Norak went first. Yeah. Alright, so I guess I have to go down towards the stairs. Yeah, you're, you're, for your movement, so just your normal 30 feet, you have to rush down the stairs. Uh, you see Launder kind of ran in front of you. Uh, Pogo tried to, uh, you know, similarly was compelled to go down the stairs. Okay, uh, I think I had used Magic Stone, so you did. I'm... Yeah, you did, stone still. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to use one to try and knock... Um... Oh, and unconscious, not kill her, but knock her out. Okay. That's funny. I was curious if anybody was going to like show any compassion to try to help her or just like fucking murder. That's and funny so far, because like, murder her. if she gets knocked out, I still might still just murder her. I don't know. <laughs> depends, on, depends on what I feel like doing. <laughs> okay, so how do uh, so I make a ranged spell attack? So yep. here's the thing. Are do you are we allowed to? Can we do ranged spell attacks just to try to knock people out? Yeah, of course. Cool. Any, pretty much anything, unless it's unless there's no way you can I make it. Like, I felt like knocking people out is a bit of a uh, weird question mark in the game. Like it doesn't have a lot of specifics. It's, it's a little bit ambiguous. Yeah, I would say like if you were using something like fireball, you're not going to knock somebody <laughs> out. Here, Come mean, on, why not? Okay, did like, that hit to knock her out or not? It did. It yeah. Did. yeah. Okay. Well, it did. Okay. So go ahead and roll the damage. Um, and since it's a, you know, a stone, I would say you know you can whack her at the temple kind of thing. Um, yeah. so you fling that at her. Uh, he, she, she's kind of still doubled over in pain from the lightning bolt. Uh, smack her in the side of the head. Uh, you see that the, the head kind of crack a little bit, begin to bleed. Uh, and she uh, lowers to the ground kind of slowly and, and is convulsing slightly, but is otherwise still. Okay. Unconscious. Uh, that's good. And okay. I guess I'm going to have to do my movement to walk Okay. Any bonus actions? Uh, no. All right. Be a bit further. That's uh, 5, 10, 15, so you'd be, like, here-ish. About oh, there. Okay. All right. It is Norok's turn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Norok. We've decided we've got to get these to that thing, and we don't know how. It's a heads up. Dashing two. Yep. All right. Have enough. You guys hear me? Yep. 
Okay. Is that as far as you can get, G? You have 40 feet. Okay. Yeah. I was just double checking. I wasn't sure if it was. I thought it was 40. So that should. Yeah, be. your 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 base is 40 for your uh, barbarian run speed thing. So just to get straight, Launder has all the bombs, yep. and he's still up here on the thing, right? Uh, well, you guys didn't give him. So Ben gave him his, and he gave one yeah. back to you. So, so Launder. Launder is just a bomb. Right now, yeah, he's just leaning against a wall with a lot of explosives. So, when I was creating another character just to play around with, I discovered a spell called Catapult, which can yeah. launch any yep, catapult game. Awesome. Yep. And all I'm thinking now is like how badly I wish I had that spell. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it launches now by default. It just does like you know two d six or something like that. But whatever. I, personally, I would rule it in that whatever you know device you it is. You light game. launder on fire, <laughs> <laughs> and then you launch him and all the bombs at the thing. There you go. You guys just sacrifice everybody. Just fuck them all. Admit, that would Doesn't be an amazing have a way. Limit though, it's like ten pounds or something. Yeah, it's no. not very, yeah, it can't be super heavy. No, it does. It has a limit. Of, uh, yeah, it's, it's reasonably heavy though. I remember thinking like, uh, be, I mean, it's any, anything, anything that speed, but yeah, I mean, it does. It, it definitely had a limit because people were talking about launching uh, when it when it first that spell was released in the uh, Xanathar's Guide, I think, in one of the other books, and people were talking about like what the limitations would be and how you could kind of abuse that spell. All right, uh, the Yeso Quendai up there still hammering away. Uh, they've now all dropped their bows and trying to slam into the stalagmite with uh, with uh, different tools. Uh, there's only the only three pickaxes, but uh, you know, with everything they have, trying to just whack away at it with uh, you know their own swords and so on. Uh, who wants to roll a 100? Fox is right, by the way, one to five pounds. So. Is it five? Okay. How do I do that? Uh, right click uh, if you want to roll it, Fox. Then it is the D10. So it's the third one from the left. Uh, that was a D10. That was not a D100. But that would have been that would have been typical Fox fashion to get an eight of a hundred. But that's not quite as bad, thankfully. Uh, right click that you had the right die, so just right click it, and then it's the top left. It'll show a percentile. Yeah, that's what I when I roll it, it just went to normal. Though. Was it really shit? It wasn't an eight. <laughs> Can I just say? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> Oh, shit. So when I saw it, I was thinking the D when you roll a percentile dice that it shows two D10s, but it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> I didn't see it was a 60 done. All right. Uh, but the eight is what, of course, we're going to go with because I didn't realize that was an actual percentile. So good roll, Fox. You're back to your, you know, your, your normal self as far as your rolls go. Um, you know, good thing that the world is right in itself, I guess. Wait, uh, was the eight the fucking actual yeah. roll? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize it was, but Fox is right. It did. It rolled in percentile. <laughs> Damn it, Fox! Shut your goddamn mouth! <laughs> oh, poor Fox, she's going right back to you know she was doing so good. Like last week, she got like three natural points. It's true. Points. It's true. It's true. I can't, uh, can't deny that. It's trying to balance itself out. Yeah, yeah. the universe works that way. <laughs> Just to you got to start Fox. praying to like a different direction or something. I don't know. <laughs> try, try a new religion. I don't know. <laughs> well, there's your problem right there, Fox. Yeah. <laughs> start, start trying to just, just, just talk to the east a little bit. Just be like, "What's up, eastward possible god toward, out there?" Try, just you know, pray towards Becca once. See what happens. Maybe, oh, maybe, you're, boy. maybe you've been no. Muslim. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, uh, then it is Olwen's turn. Uh, her death save. Uh, somebody want to roll a d twenty for me? Huh? Somebody roll a d twenty for uh, Olwen's death save. I thought she was just unconscious. Yep. Not that's why she was Oh. Uh, okay, it's not a control. It doesn't though. It's matter. Not it's not stabilized. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not. Uh, you know what? It is supposed to be. Uh, let, let me look back. Let me see what Artemis rolled. As long as she rolled high enough. She got a 23. Yeah, never mind. Okay, we'll, we'll say that she is unconscious but not bleeding out. Oh, because it was like precise enough. Well, she rolled high. She rolled. She got a twenty-three. Sure. So, so no, Fox no. rolled well enough. If she only rolled, you know, just barely hit or something like that, I might say that it was, you know, difficult to judge the going unconscious versus bleeding out. But yeah, that's fair. I would say that that's that's okay. Uh, so uh, Fox managed to get her unconscious, but not to the point where she's bleeding out. Uh, so no death saves to worry about. Uh, it is Tentacles Ten's turn finally. The one that is directly in front of uh, Art of, uh, Sarah is going to reach out and try to grapple her. Uh, smack and grapple. 
uh, which got a 25. That hit. Smack and grapple. You usually got to pay extra for that kind of action. <laughs> All right, so that is 15 damage, and you are grappled. Uh, it yanks you. You're, the broom's still attached. It just wraps around you with the broom and, and kind of curls around you and begins to go underwater uh, to, to pull you underwater with it. Uh, it can only make it about probably, let's see, because it was up, uh, you were 12 feet up. We'll call it about, that's only got a 15 speed, a 15 feet movement speed. So it pulls you just barely under the water. You're only like, you know, three, four feet under, under the water. Fantastic. Sarah's just going to drown the entire time. <laughs> <sighs> well, I tried to drown you last last session, too. Session before last, I think. All right, Pogo's turn. All right. Still leading a river turn. out of the back of your head, apparently. Yeah, just just spewing out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn to launder before I do anything. Launder, you need to follow me. The fate of your entire world and existence depends on it. So you come with me behind me. I'm going to use that. Check persuasion check. Persuasion? All right. He's scared. I know. I would say with disadvantage, but he does trust you, so. Yes. Okay. Uh, he he kind of looks up at you, ears settled back the way that a scared dog might, and kind of kind of nods a little bit and begins to stand back up like he's going to come up to, to follow right. you. And then I'm actually going to use my action uh, to dash. Yeah. To run around behind uh, to get as far as. <laughs> so sad that it's 50 fucking feet uh, to get behind Norak. Oh, and when you dash, it's still 50 feet? It's only 50 feet. Yeah. Best I got. Yeah, um, Norak gets 80 feet when he dashes. And that is going to be my turn. I'm just, we're so fucking far away. Yep. You come rushing down the stairs and around, uh, hearing Norok just just leaping like bounds of his leap are like four steps for you of him running, rushing down. He dashed as well uh, down those platforms there. Uh, that is it for your turn then. Uh, one more free action. I'm just gonna yell at Norok. Uh, Norok, we're gonna need to provide some cover. We're gonna bring the big wolf man behind us. He's got what we need. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then it is Ozzy's turn. Um, nobody near him really to see this, but uh, uh, he is going to cast Fly on himself. That would be handy. And As then... any of a... We need to get Fly, guys. This seems this seems like a necessity. Here. You have a fucking broom. Like you literally have you Our have that without. It's underwater. Well, right now, <laughs> but wait, wait, maybe... can you, can't I turn into a, fi- a giant firefly? Yeah, you have. Yeah, so you haven't tested it yet, but you did level up like four sessions ago, and you did study the crick. So that giant firefly, or giant dragonfly, is one of the uh, forms that you can change into. Right. So why don't just I don't I don't I just turn into that and then drop the bomb. Yeah, these are the kinds nice. of things you guys could have discussed you know, yeah. over the last three weeks. I just thought of it. Okay, I forgot I had a firefly. <laughs> so yep. so I'm just letting you know. We're not going to remember shit about your character unless you remember shit about your character. I'm throwing out there right now. I don't know what any of you can do. I don't know if you can rage, and that is it. Yeah, she she just got it like three sessions ago. And I know and I... that Sarah is scared of mud. Those are the two things that I know about you guys. Uh... Uh, Fox got it. So Fox got it right when you got. So I, I, when I thought this was going to come up, um, is right after you guys fought the Illithid and the the Roper, um, the 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 worm thingy that attacked you guys. That was like right across the water. I thought that Fox was going to use it to try to fly you guys over the poison water there while you get, before you had blown up the temple and everything. Um, but it didn't didn't end up coming up. So you know, like four sessions ago or whatever, plus all the breaks in between from fucking work. So no surprise. Plenty of time to have forgotten. Uh, Ozzy, though, lifts up, uh, casts fly on himself, and then just to get some distance, he can't dash, so. Um, just begins walking speed, so it's, yeah, he's going to uh, float forward, and then he's going to Misty Step to get between these guys, so he's going to get to here, and then Misty Step as well to there. That's his bonus action. And that is it for his turn. Now that, it is can, now, curiosity, now that I can see a little bit better, do I think, how high do I think we could get swatted out of the, if we were to fly, how high do you think it would have to be to be avoiding the tentacles? Uh, so the tentacles that are near you can only reach 10 feet from themselves. So, so they, 
yeah, they're small. These are not the big tentacles off of the main creatures, you can tell. Um, they are, uh, max, max height they could reach would be probably, they're about 10 feet up right now, so about 20 feet total. Uh, whereas the large, the actual tentacles of the creature can reach, let's just say, all the way. So, I mean, they, they could reach you as soon as you get into, like where Norok is right now, they could reach. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Okay. It's Rolling literally, high. in fact, actually, just to show you, um, here, I'll print screen that. So the, the dark area here, you'll see in a second, is its reach. If you look in, in Discord, the, the kind of darkened uh, part of it, which which ends just pretty much right at the end of the docks there, like Norok is inside of it, Sarah's inside of it, that darkened area is its reach. So there you go. It is Sarah's turn, though. You are grappled underwater, beginning to bubble. Right, so I'm... Um, oh, actually, hang on. Um... You are beginning to bubble. Yeah, you can't. You can't breathe. Never mind. Yet, so. Okay, I still have an action. Yeah, you still have full actions and everything. Action bonus actions. Okay, now my rod of absorption on here says fourteen, but I have sixteen written down on my notebook. So. Uh, what as far as the how much how many charges you absorbed? Yeah, so far. Okay. Uh, well, then just then it probably you probably just didn't update it because I don't I, you know I I didn't remember to update it so as long as you remember to do it doesn't matter so you have sixteen written down and you've absorbed sixteen total charges. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I didn't All right. I'll remember, I, I had used it. I just did it. All right. Well, I just I just changed it to sixteen. So go ahead. Okay. So then I'm going to use. Well, never mind. I'll just I need to change it back to fourteen because I'm going to use the second level spell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm glad we had that talk, though, guys. <laughs> Um, I'm going to bring out my shadow knife and stab this tentacle because I am still technically charmed and I have to go towards the creature. No, you're not. No, that that effect ended. No. Oh he shit! It's the beginning of your turn. Charmed. Yeah, he yeah. did it a second time. I forgot he hit you a second time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. So, uh, where is it? Shadow knife. So I need to untarget her. Jeez, you have no spell slots left. Nope. None of us have spell no slots left. <laughs> you guys are so fucked. We might <laughs> die. Like it's a legit. Like I'm. I, I. There's a decent chance we're gonna lose. I mean, honestly, Pogo, he'll be fine. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> he he keeps a little. He keeps a little trick in his pocket if he needs to. But he guys. I, by the way, Pogo, I still have your stone in my pocket. No. Uh, he, yeah, he grabbed it back. Yeah. I think he grabbed, I think it, back, I grabbed it back. Because I'm pretty I confident. Don't... Every time I use it, I'm very, very like, I'm going to take that back now. <laughs> I thought he grabbed it back. I could be wrong, but I thought after you, after he it did it, after the big he group of people. Heal you. Yeah, he, he, he used the spell oh, yeah. to heal you. But I thought he grabbed it right back again so, on his next turn. So here's the thing is I don't know if I did it because I, I definitely said it, but I don't know if I moved character or anything to do it. Like I just said I was going to go grab it back after the spell. You were still standing next to her, if I remember right, and she hadn't yeah. gotten up yet. So I, I, I mean, exactly. exactly, it makes sense that you would have. I am very careful about my <laughs> my, my stone of healing at first level. Mm -hmm. It's been one of the things. It's been it, it haunts my dreams. I forget to fucking get that thing back. <laughs> trying to keep you around for a while. Okay. Yeah. So I'm assuming since I'm underwater, it's shadowy down here. Uh, yeah, it's definitely in the shade for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Natural footage. Shut the fuck up. Was that two natural 20s? Uh, yeah, she dropped a 20. It was, a 20. It was two natural 20s. Wow. <laughs> this is the anti-fox. Wow. Uh, does it let me go? Uh, well, so specifically, if the special effect you got is decapitation. Your target's head is decapitated, slashing weapon, uh, for what this years is. Uh, actually, technically piercing would be pierced, but... Uh, uh, head related attack skill will likely leave the target dead. Blah blah blah. So yeah, and it had less HP than he rolled anyway. So you, uh, you uh, with your free hand, which is like you're grasped like around your shoulders, your arms are stuck to your sides. Uh, but you using your your shadowy hand, even in your shadow form, of course, uh, kind of begin to solidify the shade around you and just jab it into right next to your like just basically right beside your thigh into the tentacle, and then just yank it upward, uh, just ripping a, a giant gaping hole in the uh, tentacle's uh, flesh, uh, tearing through it, and the tentacle uh, uh, just spasms and then releases you into the water. You are now floating, bobbing up and down in the water. Great. So five feet up and 45 feet forward. 
Man, uh, so man, our plan is just... See, the problem is you can't make a plan when you're like, what if he takes control of our means of operation and then drags it into him? Uh, you guys, so no I've done the roll no already. Way you guys have been so lucky. He actually has an ability called Enslave, and it has not worked one fucking Sounds time. Hot. Sounds it's hot. like super important. It's like a, like a really important ability that these things have. I and, had this uh, weird feeling work. that Jeremy just didn't know how to end this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Here's how I'll do it. I'll just wipe you guys out. I'll just keep sending up uh, like a three dozen bad guys against you, and then three mind flares, and then a giant squid. There's no way you'll survive. <laughs> All right, uh, Launder though, uh, trying to follow direction of Pogo is going to dash. She's got thirty feet already, so it'll be sixty. Uh, thirty down the stairs, gets in here. As he's passing me, can I tell him to stay next to me? Actually, he makes it to just behind you. Oh, okay, perfect. Right there. All right, perfect. Uh, Don't worry. This is all this we planned. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, tentacle nine is right next to Norok. Is going to smack and try to grapple onto uh, Norok as well. Pull him into the water uh, with the twenty-five. That does hit me. Fucking. <laughs> uh, Fifteen damage, which Norok takes, takes half, but is grappled, and it pulls you to the edge of the water. Wow. Give me a deck save, D. Since you're, you know, have your feet on the ground and not just floating on a broom. Uh, He's busy eating eggs. <laughs> eating a soft taco. A soft taco filled with eggs. By the way, can I just say I'm pretty excited that I was halfway right on the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta the majority of the um, you gotta build it's, some it's, mass. It's a it's a fair bet if you assume that it's eggs, anyways. Oh no, I don't think that's gonna make it. Not with a fourteen. No. <laughs> uh, tentacle grabs you around the waist, G, and yanks you off into the water. Uh, you are grappled and pulled under the waves. Uh, TPK, here we come. <laughs> We're real fucking close, guys. Uh, layer action time um, with Sarah's above the water, but Norok is in it, so. Uh, Norok, the water around you uh, begins to churn and and uh, uh, pull and kind of uh, like a like an incoming tide uh, pulls you in toward the creature. Uh, it is a ninety feet. Yeah, you're within range. Then um, uh, make a DC fourteen strength save. G. Am I capable of doing that? I'm grappled. Uh, because this isn't. Uh, this is basically the water moving around you. It's you, you would be capable of trying to kind of resist. Uh, you know what? I would say that you can't really use your arms to, to flap against it. So I would say that it's probably just going to automatically it's concede. Yeah. So it's a uh, it's only twenty feet, but it pulls you uh, twenty feet towards him, along with the tentacle. So under you are under that. So that uh, that uh, majig there, you're underneath it. Okay. So keep that in mind. If you come up, you're still going to be like you'll have to move around it. You're kind of half out, so it still wouldn't be super bad. But All right, then it is the warrior's turn. It is going to now that it can reach. It is going to make uh, a tentacle smack against Sarah, and one against Norok, and one against Ozzy. So it can still attack even if they're underwater and everything. Yeah, its its tentacles can reach. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, but that dark the darkened area that I was showing you is its range. Uh, but these are they're like the full tentacles, not the little ones. You know what's funny? In my mind, I'm thinking, all right, when does this get to a point where Pogo's going to fucking run? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long it is, but it's getting close. <laughs> I thought your AC was 18 with your with it's your stuff 16. up. 16? Okay. Well, 17 hits. Yeah. So. If it makes you feel any better, he's probably got a plus four or plus five, or I'm sorry, plus seven or plus eight to hit you. Actually, plus nine. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's like yep. he's gonna hit you pretty much no matter what. I was gonna use shield, but then I remembered I already used the rod, which is a reaction. What so makes me feel really bad is I kind of feel like if I had talked to the what's her face earlier, maybe we could have talked something. But <laughs> sorry, guys, Pogo, Pogo didn't know what was going on. <laughs> That's not that much damage. At least it's only twelve. Uh, as as the uh, you come sailing through with the broom uh, and just square into this this uh, uh, tentacle that smacks you. Uh, next one against Norok, smacking him under the water. Uh, 13 misses, 12 misses rather. Uh, and then one against Ozzy. Uh, 18, which does hit. So 
2d6 plus 5 against Ozzy. I hate to say this, but do I need to make a deck save since I'm on the broom and I'm holding the rod, so I only have one hand holding the broom? But you're underwater. Yeah, you do. No, she's oh. above the water now. She, oh, she, she's she, the water? She, yeah, she stabbed through the tentacle and got free. Oh my god, you're all the way up there? You're so <laughs> fucking up, son of a bitch. You're so <laughs> fucked. <laughs> That's hilarious, guys. I didn't even know where you were. I thought you were like under the water somewhere. I didn't look at the map, and I'm like, where the fuck is she? And she oh just got a two, so she can't even re-roll it. Uh, got knocked off the room, uh, spinning through the air, head first, smack into the, not enough to damage you. You're barely up, but uh, you know, smack into the into the scaffolding. It kind of gives a little bit since it's just floating like these pontoons uh, as you land onto the uh, under the scaffolding there. Uh, give me. Give me a sleight of hand check with with advantage. Okay. Advantage. Artemis, you're coming up. I'm gonna use the restroom and cry a little bit. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, a few minutes to hold on to the room. Drop it, but that's three natural twenties. Like pretty pretty short or short uh, consecutive order too. Uh, you managed to hold on to the broom as you smack into the uh, scaffolding there. It is Artemis' turn. Dash to Pogo and then suggest uh, me changing into a crit to drop them. Okay. That's better. All right. He. Okay. So Launder has the bomb. You're going to you use your action to turn into the crit thing? Yeah. Okay. All right. You said so After yes, explaining it. Okay, I got you. Uh, yeah, you can uh, uh, yelling and, and talking is a free action anyway. So you you rush down towards uh, Pogo and Launder. Uh, as you arrive, you begin to, to change form with the the uh, uh, your your uh, lats beginning to, to flare out and, and turn into these giant uh, uh, dragonfly wings. Uh, I don't have the token on there. Let me see if I can grab it real quick. Okay. Do you... I should have already had this token prepped. In fact, I had it in my like things to do list uh, for a while. Uh, that's not quite the right one, but it'll work. Okay. Did I miss anything important? Yep. Go ahead, Fox. Uh, I dashed up to you guys and said that I was going to grab it as, like, the crux shape and just fly it. The what? That's a dragonfly. Dragonfly. Oh, you're I'm a dragonfly? I'm turning into a dragonfly. Oh, fantastic. I'm using that to, uh, fly the bone. Are we all jumping on you? No. Uh, I would say that she's Artemis probably not quite like prepared for this. Is the first time she's tried it, so I would say that if she were going to try to carry anybody, you would be at disadvantage. Like you'd have some difficulties with that. Oh, okay. Uh, but at least as is, uh, you do see her uh, uh, form beginning to sprout out and explode into this giant shape uh, of the dragonfly right next to you, uh, wings just barely flapping over Londra's head. Uh, Artemis, you are in quick form now, and what, you still have your bonus action. No, it's a bonus. No, you, you're a lander, so it's an action for you to turn into that. I'm just going to move your regular token off to the right box. Uh, so it was like are, a free action. Can I toss the two that I have into the bag? Um, I mean, on your oh, into Launder's bag. Yeah. Um, I would say that that Ar as Artemis' action, she can gather them from you guys essentially with her, with her kind of you know mandible or uh, feet, dragonfly feet. Okay. All right. Then, Artemis, you have gathered up the bag of bombs. Uh, you now have... Uh, uh, he gave you one, so you now have 12 of them total. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any bonus actions or movement? Was that uh, all your movement? That was, yeah, I dashed to get here. Cool. Okay. All right. I was going to say, stay there for a second. <laughs> all right. All right. Then, that it your turn, then? Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Because now I can't cast any spells or anything. Yeah. Yet yeah, you get that at like fifteen. I'm gonna laugh if we're about to get fucking attacked, and then <laughs> you're just—we're all just back to where we were. <laughs> just if something whacks the dragonfly and sets off all the bombs, like maybe a you know a tentacle that can reach forty feet. Um, yep. <laughs> also, all, right. all my equipment changed with me. Like I didn't drop anything. Yeah, actually. So that means that the bomb that you already had in your bag is not available to you, but the bag of bombs that was handed to you is. So you still have twelve, but you don't oh, have. Oh, I would have put it in. You were in. For turning. Right. Okay. Yeah. It didn't I mean, I'll tell you the difference between twelve and thirteen probably won't be huge. No. So I'll just keep uh, it oh whatever, I'll have a bomb for later. 
All right, uh, Norok, your turn. You are uh, still grappled by this tentacle that is uh, swirling around you and yanking you back towards the creature. Uh, you can see above you through the, you know, you're only underwater by a few feet, but you can see that above you, the light has disappeared uh, because you are clearly under the scaffolding. What do you do? All right, um, if I'm still grappled, do I have to do the strength here? Let me see if I can break out. You can try, yeah. And you're still raging. Um, you still have inspiration on here. Was that used? No, I used that. I, I should have. That should be gone. Okay. All right, I'm pretty sure I used that to, for on the last session. Yeah, that was what made the difference between you guys finishing off the last elithid or not. Yeah. Because you were gonna miss. Okay. Uh, the the tentacle wrapped around you. You just you just kind of try to. to uh, push your shoulders out as far as you can using your elbows trying to, to squirm it free uh, manage to push yourself underneath it you're using your elbows you push the, the tentacle above you uh, it is still kind of snaking around above but you are pushed down further underwater now free of it no longer grappled uh, you're probably about six or eight feet underwater now what are you doing uh, I don't have any movement left, but I'm going to swim up to the surface of course and try to hop up on the dock okay. okay so it's half movement for your for swimming so you have 20 feet of movement speed uh, the tentacle is, is pulling away from you still. It was trying to, to kind of pull you under it, so I'm going to move it out of the way a little bit. Uh, but you can swim up to the surface. Uh, as soon as you, you break the, the surface of the water, uh, you feel this kind of viscous liquid. Uh, in fact, give me a con tech. Con save, rather. This water is poison, remember? Boom! <laughs> was, there he is! Uh, Fuck you, to water! <laughs> manage to not uh you know breathe any in uh, or you know uh, swallow any uh and break the surface of the water grabbing onto the pontoons lifting yourself up onto the edge you now on the edge of it here uh with uh five feet of movement left and your bonus action and this tentacle is underwater by the way it's not it's not actually up in front of you okay uh, and did you say i had any movement left or no i didn't hear. uh five feet of movement left okay uh then i guess i will just step over this way Okay. Uh, any bonus actions? Nope, I don't believe. All right. Uh, the SL Quinda again, guys. Who wants to try to get through this stalagmite? And tight. Right. Like tight. What's that? And All right. right. So right click on which one, Holmes? Uh, third one from the left, and you right click on it. I think that's the only one that hasn't done it yet. So that's good. Yeah. Uh, right click. Yeah. Exactly. Click. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, too late. Mark already rolled it. You got an 11. Uh, they are just hammering away at those stones. It doesn't seem like they're going to be getting through it anytime soon, guys. Just a bunch of fucking worthless elves up there. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tell you, you need two more successes. And that's, I mean, these rounds, a lot of damage can happen during that we time. We understand! <laughs> you don't want you know, to keep reminding you how, how uh, dangerous this is for you? Uh, uh, hang on. No, uh, uh, bleeding brain gushing blood from my head <laughs> uh, you've actually been healed you're not bleeding out of it anymore but it's gonna be you know you're gonna have an awful headache tomorrow all right, all right. uh although you uh have just seen artemay rush up to you and begin to, to transform into the uh dragonfly form she has the bag of bombs in her grasp what are you doing uh i am going to cast invisibility at level three not greater but regular to just regular invisibility at level three because i don't have a level two slot did you really and, get both regular and greater spell? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I've used them all multiple times. Because here's the problem with greater. You can't cast on more than one person. Even oh. At higher, even at higher levels, you can't do it. Okay. All right. I know. That's weird, fair. right? Yeah, that seems strange. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast standard invisibility on both me and Artemé. I'm sorry. Yeah, Artemé. And, uh, okay, hang on. Let me let me tell you this. You, as light as you are, especially not carrying a giant bag of bombs, you would probably not make a significant difference in the flight path for for the dragonfly. So if you, we'll retcon it long enough that if you wanted to have that discussion with Artemé, that Artemé, you feel confident that you can Artemis, carry both. Do you, do, you, do you think you can carry me on here? You do realize I can't actually answer you in this form, right? Oh, well, I'm saying that, that we'll just retcon that, that you could have had this discussion when you, because you said that when you first run out that you were, you know, talking this plan through. Yeah. So we can so, just say that during so, that time. Um, you know what? Nope. I'm just going to make us both invisible. 
okay. And I'm, <laughs> so I'm, without... gonna, I'm gonna grab her by the <laughs> by kind of the the leg, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna make you invisible. But if you make an attack, they're uh, they're gonna make you there. And then, so we both become invisible, and then I'm <laughs> going to immediately grab Launder's hand, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna hide. You help the best you can. Trust me. You are the backbone of this group. on fire. Wait, what? She can't light the bombs. <laughs> I, oh. <laughs> I mean, that's, I, I, that's, what, that's what I was going with. Like, you could, okay, you know, I get it. Bomb, so I would, have, I would have probably remembered this, and I do still have my dumb torch. All right. So I guess I'm climbing up, and we're both invisible. I mean, are you going to get consent? You generally get consent before you mount. So, so I forgot that that was a thing, but I'm sure Pogo would have remembered this being about light, about seconds second light ago. Bomb. Yeah. And so he still has his torch too. So he's just like, all right. I'm before you transform, then, order me. I'm going to make us invisible. I've got my torch. This will all be invisible. Then we'll get up there. Uh, move your move one antenna for yes, two antenna for no. <laughs> this is before the transformation. She, oh, you oh, while okay. you were AFK, Justin, while I, you were AFK, Fox had said that she runs up and then and then you know discusses this okay. plan with you or suggests it. So, so, we'll so are you okay time. with that plan? I mean, I don't have to. I don't know what else we're gonna do. Okay, wait, <laughs> what was it? It was one for yes and two for no. Well, no, we, we apparently <laughs> had discussed this before you transformed, Fox. Yeah, we discussed this before you transformed. Because technically it all happens at the same time, which makes this yeah. game so confusing sometimes. <laughs> so, when you came up... So while you still have a chance to respond, Pogo is suggesting this. Is that okay? If we both go invisible, I ride on your back and we can't take this bag of bombs that you carry because I can't because I'm tiny? Sure. All right, Just I love don't it. don't blame if you fall off. <laughs> there is no saddle. Don't worry, darling. I'll grip you tight. <laughs> oh, Careful man. the wings. Is he going to drop you on purpose? <laughs> if he so, hurts my wings, yes. So we are yeah. both we are both now invisible. Okay. And, so you uh, fling yourself up right. over over this carapace. Uh, still, you know, she's still got the bag of bombs gripped in her claws, which are like under her neck, essentially. Which means that for you to reach, you're you know even using your arm at full length and using the torch at full length, you're going to have to like like get on her side almost. Does that make sense? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, basically the bombs themselves are out of reach. Are too too low. Yeah, for you to just be able to reach it easily, you're gonna have to be like precariously dangling off her her upper the side of her neck, essentially, to reach it with the sure. core. Yeah, so. well, we'll figure okay. it out. All right. Okay. Uh, then there you go. Well, as far as the two of you, then you'll be moving together. So no further movement for Pogo then, presumably. Nope. I'm gonna tell Launder just to do your best, buddy. All right. Uh, give me a persuasion check on that too. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, Ozzy's turn, he is going to... Uh, By the way, it's hilarious to me that I'm trying to persuade him just to do his best. <laughs> he's terrified. Remember, yeah. like he, he's been like super cautious about all this. The only reason he's like still here helping out is because you got like a 28 on your last yeah. one. Or like, he was going to try to hide behind that wall, remember? Uh, yeah. And just toss it. All, all, all right. I got it for him. <laughs> uh, actually, from your angle now, especially on her back, you can see... Um, uh, Ozzy kind of flying through the air and with, with his right hand flinging out just, a, just a, a, a roiling ball of fire that rolls end over end and then crashes it, well, attempts to uh, uh, crash into the giant form of this creature. Uh, it's dex I got a two. You got a two on its deck save, guys. Nice. Oh, <laughs> Are you casting so, fireball, basically? Yeah, so, fireball, I mean... Yeah. Uh, uh, See, if we all had fireball and could fly, this would be no problem. <laughs> uh, a uh, just a huge ball uh, of fire just erupts over its face, just square in its eyes, just just explodes over the creature, uh, just just uh, you know kind of raining this, these these uh, embers down on it. Uh, it. It screeches in in anger and pain and begins to kind of recede under the water a little bit to try to put out some of the uh, the, the flames on its skin. Uh, but it's a good little chunk of damage. You didn't roll great. Bunch of force. But the first actual damage that's been done to the creature, so that's good. I mean, the NPC had to do it for you guys, but at least yeah. it's done. <laughs> uh, all right, it is Sarah's turn. Right. You are no longer under the command anymore, so you, you do have that. But I am within his reach. 
pretty much everybody is within its reach. So it does have its its uh, the the, re the legendary actions. It can pretty pretty much if you're in this area, it can hit you at any time. Uh, oh, you're not grappled. Right. Anymore. Hang on, let me take the grapple off you too. You do have your shadow knife up still. Yep, I am going. So we talked about this last time. Shan doesn't have to breathe. Correct. Great. So I'm going to have. I am calling Shan. Okay. And I'm going to have her pop up underneath him. Because I'm okay. hoping, like a crab, there's a soft spot under there. <laughs> All right. I'm hoping. Uh, <laughs> just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to put Shan, like, over here, just so that we know that she's, you know, in there. Uh, but I don't want to put her under, because the token is so big, if I put it underneath him, I'll never be able to move it. So, makes sense? Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, go ahead and give, give me a natural 20, or give me a roll, rather, on a d20. All right, 13, and her dex is... 15, so it's a 12. Wait, two more, so 13. No, 15, sorry. There you go. Okay. So there's that my bonus. And then. How far am I right now? Shit, that didn't even pop up. How far am I from him? Uh, Well, I guess. You're I guess there, there, lady! Yeah, yeah, if you mean its face, if you mean like where its head is, it's 60 feet. But I'm like less than 30 from this tentacle. <laughs> uh, I mean, the tentacles are swaying around constantly. It, as far as the art is concerned, imagine that the the, the head is the part you got to pay attention to. So if you just did distance to the head, like pay attention to that part. You'd like to stick between. It's huge. So let's say 55, 60 feet from from where its face is, essentially. Right. So 30 to 60 foot range, 60 feet would be disadvantage, correct? Yes. Great. But it's shadowy in here, so it would be a straight roll. It's it's pretty bright, but you are in the shade because there is a roof above you, okay. like the ceiling of the cave where the where the uh, is when I are up there hacking away at the uh, uh, spike mite. Tight. Great. So the, since I have it up, I might as well just throw it. We're gonna throw the shadow blade. All right. Oh, of course. And it misses. <laughs> <laughs> you fling it at him, and it just dissipates before it reaches there. It would have hit. It just didn't have enough strength before it made it. Right. Well, I have no idea what's going on with anybody, so I'm backing up so far. Okay. I'm surprised you just dash the fuck out. <laughs> I can't on the broom. Oh, you can't dash on the broom? Oh. Well, you can't. The broom doesn't move at twice speed. You know what That's I mean? Right. So. You can't like run broom. Run. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, it is. It is. A, it is a semi-conscious uh, creature, but it's, it doesn't have its own actions or anything. So. Oh, don't bunch up! Damn it! <laughs> well, I don't know where anybody Have is. I'm not backing away. Well, I'm telling you right now, Ozzy is right to your left. If you didn't see him while you're running straight at him. If you're I backing can't... away on the broom, yeah, you wouldn't see him. So, oh, okay. Until, yeah. until you get past him. So. Oh, see, I didn't even see him because he blends in with the water. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> you're so fucked, guys. <laughs> Love it. That's, it. That's all I got. All right. Then it is Launder's turn. Uh, he is still panicked and terrified not really sure what to do uh goes he just kind of nods at you uh still still scared uh and is going to rush out into onto the the scaffolding here how does he see me turn invisible next to a giant invisible bug <laughs> that's D, D for you yep all right 60 feet he can make it to about there um and he doesn't have a lot of spell slots left uh Norok, have you taken any serious injuries that have not been um, you know, covered? Like anything that would look like blood on you? You're at 16 hit points, but what was the last hit that you took? Oh, the tentacle whack. Yeah, okay. Then he would yeah. throw he throw healing word, uh, yeah, healing word at you just with bonus action since he dashed. Uh, so not much, but a level one slot. Uh, six plus four, uh, ten healing for you. So only at six wounds, that's good. And it is it for his turn. Uh, nothing there, nothing there. That one is underwater. It sprouts up uh, in front of you. Uh, yeah, it's still pulling. The thing is, it was still pulling away. So I, I would think that it pulled away first, and it's not that fast. So it's probably only to here-ish. Uh, back four layer actions, guys. Everybody ready to die? All right. Let's see. Well, we're on our third plan of the last 45 minutes. So. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, mean, at this point, we deserve it. 
<laughs> if you guys can because pull off, you know, all, I can keep, all I have to keep thinking about is is the party going on at the Capitol. <laughs> you guys could have been having fun at the festivals. I, was, uh, I pushed so hard for that too. <laughs> <laughs> The creature doesn't have that much hit points. You guys just haven't even touched it. Like literally, yeah. all the, the only damage done to it so far was the fireball by Ozzy. Yeah. Um, he's going to do grasping tide again. So uh, within ninety feet, any creature on the ground within twenty feet, such as a pool, must succeed uh, on a uh, DC fourteen strength saving throw. So DC fourteen strength save, and Launder has to do it as well. Wonder got a 14. Barely succeeds. Uh, both of you succeed. All right. Then the waves around you, Ben, uh, pull up behind you and kind of try to push you into the water. Uh, Sarah and Ozzy, you guys see the waves kind of churning beneath you, but they're not quite enough to reach your feet. Uh, both uh, Launder and Norok are able to shrug off the water as it, as it pushes by. Uh, not enough to knock them into the water. Uh, tentacle time. It's going to be... Norok, Launder, and uh, Becky, give me roll a roll a D two. So right click on the D six, and then hang on, where is it? Uh, oh shit! Okay, just roll a D four. One and two will be you. Three and four will be Ozzy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> of course. One for Sarah, uh, which is a fifteen, which misses. Yay. So the tentacle tries to snake out and smack you from the water. Uh, 23, which does hit Norok. And that is a 5, so not too much as far as the damage is concerned. And last one against Launder. Natural 1. Embarrassing movie cut loose part of your armor. Yeah, well, tentacles don't have armor, so nothing for that. Uh, then as its bonus action, uh, Ben, give me a wisdom save. 17. Good thing we're also wise. <laughs> if we were wise, we would be wise. in this fucking hole. Artemis has got like 20 wisdom, I think. Uh, that's definitely not a success. Uh, it uh, commands you to approach. So on your next turn, you have to use your full movement to try to get near it. I guess you were kind of doing it anyway, so that's probably yeah. ineffective. <laughs> what? I might have already asked you this, but is command a charm effect, technically? It's not. So, so that's part of what I was looking at. Too is that charm, or uh, uh, it's not an ongoing effect or anything. It's basically just on your next turn, you have to follow whatever the one-word command is. It's not. It doesn't continue afterwards or anything. Um, and it's. Uh, we would say the spell has no effect if targets undead. Doesn't understand your language or command is directly harmful to it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's, it's nothing charm. I specifically was looking for that because uh, that's one of its bonus actions, and the other two options are both charm effects. So it hasn't been using those, having seen that you shrugged it off previously. Also, it's 18. It's what? 18. My wisdom is 18, not 20. But I have I the modifier of plus 4. Yeah, I thought you'd capped it out already. Okay, well, still no, 18. Not capped yet. Highest wisdom in the group. It mine is your turn, Chuck. Zero, I think? Yeah, mine is a zero. <laughs> that sounds how right. Is it, how is it zero, though? Oh. It's a plus zero. It's, it's so modifier it's a zero, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, my charisma has plus zero. That That's, sounds also right. And it's a base of ten, so... That's why someone's not banging in the cheese room. <laughs> anyway, okay. I guess I'm going to move forward. Uh, your guys' your spa room with your special tub that smells like mm -hmm. cheese. Okay, so cheese how tub. far can I go with this? Uh, I, I, it's I, not added to my animal form list, so I have I, no information yeah. on it. Let me find it. I forgot Another to Another reason I forgot about it! <laughs> That's fair. Alright, Giant Dragonfly is the stats I'm using for it, and the speed for that is... Do, do, do. 50 feet flying. And you can dash, because you're, you know, your actual form is that, so... If okay. you're gonna dash 100 feet, otherwise 50. Okay, I'm gonna dash then, I guess, and I'm okay. gonna do it in a way to avoid the tentacle as much as possible. All right, so if you dashed going upwards as well, you can make it to... Uh, by the way, the, the stalagmite is basically above its head. Uh, so for simplicity's sake, uh, you're, you're going up in elevation too, but I would say that just as the wing flapping, you're kind of... You're not... Um, I guess your movement is still horizontal as far as that's concerned. Go, so so go not high. there. Okay. So high. one more turn. Uh, nice one more job. turn of movement, you can make it up there. Uh, but you, again, you're still invisible anyways. 
Um, and we'll say that you're making, you basically have another 20 feet up to go and another about probably 60, 80 feet uh, to go. So like another turn of dashing and you'll make it to where the stalagmites are, if that's what you're attempting to do. Yeah. So, okay, there we go. Okay. All right. Uh, that if, uh, any bonus actions then? I can't do any spells. So no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, it is Norx turn. So I would be going this way. Yeah, first thing you have to do is... Uh, no, well, you, you would still follow the way that is safest for you, which would mean not oh. going through the water. So it would be, you know, your full movement to approach along the scaffolding to its face. And I'm guessing since I'm charmed, I would just walk or would I just run and dash? No, you, hmm. it's, you don't have to keep your action for it. It's just your regular movement speed. Yeah. If it was a charm effect, then yeah, it could make you do that. In fact, actually, there is. Uh, shit, are you are you immune to charm effects, G? When I'm raged, charm and fear. Okay, because the other effects were hypnotic, uh, hypnotic pattern and fear. So I knew those wouldn't work. But the actual enslave effect, I think that might be ignored by mindless rage too. Um, can't be charmed or frightened, and it is a charm effect. Yeah, so the enslave wouldn't work on you, uh, at least while you're raging, anyways. Alright, uh, any actions, bonus actions, G? Um, nope, because that was my action to move, and then, uh, the No, 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 that's just your movement. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you still have action and bonus action. So I just couldn't control where I was moving, basically. I Correct. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, command, command's a level one spell. It doesn't do that much. He just has it as a bonus action, so he can throw it all the time. I was going to say, he must not have spell slots on that, because he's using the hell out of it. So, or he just has yeah. a spell slot. It's, it's actually, it's, a, it's an, it's a, um, ability, not a spell. So. so you can do fear, hypnotic pattern, um, uh, command, and phantasmal force as bonus actions. Nice. All right. Um, now, it says when I clicked on the warrior chaos that he's 30 feet away. So does that mean that I could actually hit him with my... Uh, is he actually he's 30 feet away, but his head's way farther? Uh, right? Well, his head, yeah. I mean, you'd have to pretty much get to his head, which is uh, 60 feet. 60 feet to get could to I, his head. Could I aim for one of the big tentacles then? That, like his actual tentacles that I could see? Um, they are so the, the tentacles that are off to your right. You could hit those, but you don't know that those are really going to. You don't get the impression that those are, you know, going to hurt him much. Uh, okay. But the big tentacle, basically, as far as the art's concerned, just look, just aim for the head. Essentially, it's just that yeah. the token is so big. Okay, um, but I can still throw it to be a disadvantage, right? Since it's yep. max that are very important. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right, then I will attempt to see if I can throw. It. Uh, misses. Okay. You dropped an 18. Would have been good. So you uh, fling Vulcan as you're as you're approaching this creature. Uh, fling it end over end. Uh, it goes. It, it actually does hit him. It just doesn't. You, the blade doesn't sink in at all. It just seems like it just kind of smacks him in, in the face a little bit, and you call it back to your hand. Any bonus actions? No. That's it. All right. Then it is the Esoquenda guys who wants to make the roll. I'm on it. You got a 55 last time, Pogo. It's just 50 and above, so it's not that hard. Hey! Yes! <laughs> All right. Suck the, a dick. <laughs> uh, you, looking up, I mean, now that you're kind of approaching, on approach already, Pogo, uh, you know, from the back of the dragonfly, uh, see that they've, they're they making real progress. They're probably at like 75, 80% of the way through, you'd guess. Uh, just a little bit more, and that thing will come loose. And it is directly above the creature, as long as it doesn't notice them, which you guys, so far, it doesn't appear to have noticed them. Otherwise, it probably would be reaching out with tentacles at them. Um, and, you know, that, that tenor, or the uh, uh, stalactite will come down square on its head, uh, which you imagine would probably injure it pretty severely. All right. Oh, one is not injured. It is Shan's turn. Hey. Alrighty. So. Is my... oh, that's damage. That's the deck. Right. All she can do is attack him from underneath. So my oh, it, got it. it hits. Yeah, twenty-three. It looked like a smaller roll. Before it <laughs> <up>. <laughs> hey, second time entering this thing, guys. In four rounds, you guys have uh, yeah, three, right. three or four rounds. Because uh, I, I didn't reset it from the Isoquenda or from the Alithid fight, rather. So we're in round nine, but some of those were from the mind player. So. Yeah, I'm assuming that he is mm, he's immune. He's immune to being prone. Yeah, he's immune to being prone anyway. So uh, while he's in water, anyway. All right, is that it for Shane's turn? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's it. Alright, it is Pogo's turn. Oh boy. So, whoa! For starters. <laughs> yeah, on this giant bug. Okay. I'm actually, I'm first going to use my bardic inspiration, and I'm going to put my head down and whisper into Artemis ear and be like, you're an amazing giant bug. The best <laughs> giant bug that I have ever ridden in my entire <laughs> life. So that's my, so she gets uh, <laughs> a D8 on her skill check. She gets her extra D8. Here, I'll add it to her. Where are you on here? There you are. Oops. That doesn't seem right. Uh, you have yourself targeted as well. Uh-oh. I'm in a weird target hole. There, I just fixed it. There we go. So, what the f- I just targeted Artemy for you. Oh, okay. And then we'll add that to her. Okay. Ah, oh, lovely <laughs> music. One of the ones that goes on way too long. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I am going to, that's pretty much it. I'm going to wait. I can't. Let me let me just real quick. Uh, so if you're going to remember, if you're going to light those, you can't reach it from now, which means it'll have to be no. your turn to light them after she gets there. She's presumably going to get there on her next turn. Got it. So what I'm going to do? Uh, let me double check here real quick. Uh, spell ends. Anything targets more can you use those? Long prison spell. Okay, yeah, I can't cast a spell. I was just curious if the casting a spell ruined the invisibility. So um, I'm going to take my torch. And I'm going to hold on the best I can and put it to where I rem- like the closest I remember to where the bag is. Okay. And I'm going to hold my action so that uh, I can light it when she is. Or I'm going to light it after um, the giant thing is cracked open uh, and falls on the thing's head. Uh, well, okay. I'm going to light it, try to drop it alongside it. Uh, either alongside it or preferably right behind it. It's kind of depending on how those. Okay. how those actions turn but i'd rather right. have um, my goal in my mind and i'll even real quick just a whisper drop the bombs after that thing falls on its head and i'll whisper that to her giant fucking insect head okay and i'm gonna hold my action in case it happens to light that bag on fire if i think i can reach it sounds good okay and I'm not, uh, by the way, me... I'm not aiming for like a specific bomb or anything. I'm just going to try to light the whole fucking like the, the entire bag. Just yeah, light because they're, they're invisible the to me too, so I can't see yeah. them. Okay, so I'm just going to light the bag. On fire. They all have fuses anyway, so if you catch the bag on fire, they yeah. would presumably you you feel like you would you would catch those as well. Uh, give me a dex check for holding on while you're trying to slip over to the side to not fall off. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you want to guess? Well. You want to guess what your DC was going to be? Was it going to be fifteen? It was gonna be fourteen. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, I mean, I, w- I would have given you a ch- you know a deck save to try to grab onto something like a wing and then let Fox get mad and fling you off. <laughs> but but at least so far you managed to hold on. Uh, all right, that is it for your turn then. Uh, that is it for my turn. Yes. Hold all on. right. Uh, Ozzy is going to uh, uh, seeing Sarah come you know come this way here. He's going to kind of float kind of in front of her a little bit uh, and. Uh, going to... He's going to Lightning Bolt again. Uh, I got a 7 minus 1. He does not have very good decks. So I got a 6, which means he failed. The creature, not Ozzy. For 32 more damage against the warrior. Uh, that is it for his turn. It is Sarah's turn. Right, so... You see you see you Ozzy's projection floating in front of you, uh, somewhat protectively trying to, to kind of impose himself between you and the creature. I appreciate it, but realizing it doesn't really matter where I am because it's going to hit me anyways. Uh, let's see, that would be 25. 30, 40, 40. Uh, I would still be 60 feet from the head from here, right? That looks about right. Okay. So, I'm going to... Uh, I mean, it would be slightly further, but yeah, we'll say that's, let's say that you're close enough, yeah, because it's, it is moving in the water as well. Okay, so... Bonus action, I'm going to use my last spell slot to get some sorcery points back, which unfortunately gives me three. I don't okay. use that thing, but that's right. 
and then I'm going to use one of my sorcery points to double the distance of light. And I'm going to <laughs> okay. Because light is only 30 feet, so fuck that. <laughs> and he. Gets and you don't want to get close? Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Positive. And he gets disadvantage because Shannon is within five feet. All right. So there's hope. <laughs> he got a four plus six for a total of ten. He fails. Yes. All right, thirty-six damage. Hit. Pretty good roll. Too. Nice. Good job, Shan. Between well, I mean that was the blight, so the the uh, kind of this this uh, breeze of rotting uh, decrepit leaves settling over the warrior's skin uh, and beginning to melt into it, leaving this necrotic spots uh, over oh. its carapace. Go ahead. And that was from the rod as well, because I am out of spell spots. So. Oh, okay. All right. You're gonna burn through that thing real fast. Yeah, now I that you're. Have a choice. Yeah. So, you know what, what I level hope is that? happens? I hope that Norak kills him with one charge of the fucking wand. <laughs> the stick of stars. From a hundred feet away. away. <laughs> uh, it doesn't have the time to recharge, though, didn't he use it all, G? Except for yeah, one no. charge? He's got one charge yeah. left. <laughs> Two charges, it says on the thing still. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, it is Launder's turn. Um. Let's see. He can see Sarah floating up there. Sarah's pretty beat up. Uh, Ozzy doesn't isn't showing injuries. Uh, Norok, what shape is Norok in? Norok, you're okay. He just healed you. Yeah, you've taken a little bit, but not too bad. Uh, and he can't see Pogo or, or Artemis, so he's going to jump across here and try to get um, you know in a stable position as close as he can over here. And he's going to healing word because he can't reach her. Of course, he's going to healing word at third level. Uh, for ten, uh, sorry, fourteen healed to Sarah. Thank you. Do to do, do twenty-seven minus fourteen, thirteen wounds left, and that is it for his turn. Okay. Uh, they can't rid that one. Can reach Norok, so the one that is beside Norok now, which is the same one that pulled you under earlier, G, is going to try to smack you and pull you under again uh, for twenty-six, which hits. <laughs> uh, you are grappled as well again. Uh, and pulled away. Go ahead and give me a deck save, G. Uh, in these moments, it makes me want to give you guys a bit of inspiration. Some of us may die. That's it? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I, I really like how long everyone waited. They're like, I thought, well, I thought you were going to finish it up with, but at least I'll live. Like, at least, you know, Pogo will live. That's but. a joke, by the way. <laughs> uh, it grabs you again, G, and pulls you into the water. Uh, not far, but basically to there. Uh, just right off the edge, pulls, like, just flipping over sideways until you fall almost head first, uh, kind, of, kind of almost parallel to the water uh, as you splash into the poison. Um, it is layer action time. Um, it is going to, uh, let's see. Norak, give me an intelligence save. That's not going to end well. He made the last one. This is the second time it's tried. And he made the last one, at least. No, nope, not with that, though. Uh, I'm going to send you a whisper, G. Just let me know how, you, uh, you know, the, well, let me know when you get this. Just hit your, you know, got it thing. Uh, how do I want to word this? Ah, oh, shit. Guess I gotta put who the message goes to. Good thing I didn't mess that up and send it to everybody. There you go. Does it play a dinging sound when you guys get a message? Yeah, you probably heard that off my laptop. My phone's turned next to it. Huh. I didn't realize it made a noise. Oh, it's the same noise when your turn comes up. Same little ding sound. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. Um, so you have to act on that knowledge. So, I mean, whatever would be fair for Norok with that knowledge, okay? Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, when your turn comes up. So, uh, it is the warrior's turn. We're going to do some more... Tentacle smacks. Um, it cannot see. Yeah, you, oh, shit. You know what? 
All right, so he does have a special ability, one of his legendary actions, guys. It's called Detect, and is uh, the creature makes a Wisdom Perception check as a legendary action. So it is going to do that, guys. Uh, I got a 13. Uh, do me a favor, both... Uh, let's see, Fox and Justin, both of you guys make a stealth check. Stealth, okay. Yeah, uh, with with advantage though, and I would think that the DC I might I might even boost that a little bit because he only got a thirteen, but I would you know he was he isn't looking at you guys specifically, and you were kind of outside of where he would have been paying attention to when you turned invisible. So I would say that it'd be pretty hard for him to see you. Artem, I got a fifteen. Put it in the dice tower, but That's I fine. don't know. Okay, uh, so he does not appear that he seems to have noticed where you guys are. Um, if you got a uh, Justin, you got an 18. Fox, you got a 15. Yeah, I think my dice tower is under the map, but I made the mistake of making the map slightly too tall. Now I can't actually close <laughs> the map because of the, the program. So. Oh, because the window is above the top yeah, of the. So yeah. I don't get any dice tower rolls. It's not going to be a thing. <laughs> uh, so between the two of you, like what I was doing is just getting the average between you, and you needed to be the 13 with your average. So Artem, I got a 15. You got an 18. So the average would be 16 and a half ish, which is above a 13. So you're still fine. Uh, does not appear to have seen you, which means he's going to attempt to whack Sarah and oh, wow. Ozzy and Launder. <laughs> uh, is Sarah in bad enough shape that she's risky yet? No. Oh, he got a natural one against Sarah for, <laughs> for an automatic miss. So you guys are getting real lucky because the, the enslaved thing still hasn't come back. So that, that could really fuck your guys' day up. Uh, 12 with misses against Ozzy and against Launder. Uh, 24 does hit launder. This isn't the grappling one, though. This is just the damage one. All right. Uh, and for bonus actions, is going to... Uh, Becky, go ahead and roll that d4 again. Oh, oh, man. One and two. Oh, come on. Yep. What's that video, Justin? Do I need to see that now? No, no, not at all. Okay. I'm trying to take my mind off of us all dying. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, then it is... Give me a... Yeah, I think it's going to use this one. Um, it is a wisdom save again, and it's a 17. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> no! Yeah! <laughs> first, <laughs> first time I get to use this one. Uh, the, the, the eyes are just kind of beaming at you and they look crystalline and bright and they seem to be emitting this uh, like just in, in your vision you, you, you can swear that you see almost rainbows coming out of it and you're just entranced staring up at the sky at these kind of rainbow beams that seem to be above you you are covered by a hypnotic pattern currently incapacitated at least I'm still floating yeah you're above the water so <laughs> that's a cool sound effect All right, it is Artemis turn Okay. I'm now gonna go towards it. And okay. Then go high. Oh, yeah. High enough to wait for this dog. My. All right. Uh, they are near. In fact, actually, just for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna say let's go ahead and make the roll now because they're coming up right after Norok. Okay. Um, who wants to make the roll? Who wants to make the roll, guys? I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I will. <laughs> I, I I I can I, I can walk away from this saying I did good on my roll. So. <laughs> Uh, I think you rolled bad last week, though. Son of a bitch. Damn right. it. They are just hammering away at this thing. They must have hit like a vein of granite or something inside of this thing because they've been just, just hitting this same spot and it's just not not breaking. Um, you are up there, though, uh, Artemis. You are like flapping in place directly by the, you know, enough that, that the elves are, are looking around. They're upside down, by the way. You're, you're looking at them standing upside down on the roof, uh, looking around, trying to figure out where the... Uh, air disturbance is coming from because you're, you know, all the, the wings flapping is, is uh, you know, blowing. Are we like, are we like right next to the bowl, the the thing now? Uh, within ten feet, yeah. Okay. I mean, you could probably there's enough space that Artemis could get closer if you, you know, were were at another plan or something. Um, but you are, you know, directly above the the warrior though. Um, but they are hammering away at it, uh, trying to to break through the last of the stalactite. Any other actions or bonus actions, folks? No. I would say that you do have this, like, uh, very hard to resist. You do manage to shrug it off, but you have this this uh, urge to just flip upside down and, and, you know, put your feet on the ceiling, because that's what you ought to do. You're a dragonfly. But, you know, you you do have a, a small halfling on your back that would probably, you know, struggle to hold on if you were to do that. So, 
On the good side is I'm already kind of halfway off of like clinging to the <laughs> side, so I don't yeah, know if it'll make a around. huge difference, but... <laughs> uh, flip around to her belly instead, uh, like the front of her neck, I guess. All right, it is Norok's turn. I will say, though, that, I mean, the amount of space left, if it were to have a, you know, a bomb explode inside the stalactite, it would set it off. For the amount of distance left where they've hacked through it, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah, I understand. <laughs> I also know that all of our bombs are in a goddamn bag. <laughs> Hell, I have another, I'll, I'll, I have a DM question. If I uh, go to, like, no, that wouldn't do anything. Never mind. Just forget, <laughs> right. I, just forget I even open my dumb mouth. All right. Uh, Norok, then you are grappled and underwater, and you just saw what I sent you that message. So what are you doing? Uh, you, I'm sorry. You do feel the tentacle has let you go. Oh, okay. I was going to say, do I need to try to break free? Nope. Uh, in fact, as soon as, as soon as it realized that the effect had taken hold, the tentacle lets go of you. All right. Um, and what I saw, I'm guessing that's under that platform you know that's basically right in front of me uh, it's around the platform it's off to the right and then directly okay. north of you. yeah all right um then yeah obviously being impulsive i would start swimming that way um on this turn i'm definitely gonna swim that way on my next turn uh if i can then maybe i'll like do a roll or something to see if norok breaks out of it and thinks okay well maybe i've been underwater too long and i'm hallucinating and drowning or something let me like. see i don't know that it would force you to hurt yourself um in the sense of like you know drowning let me see. It's it's a really long effect here, so let me read over it just real quick again. I just meant that on my second turn, I might, if it's possible, I might like, roll to see if I can snap out of the illusion, because at first he's going to impulsively go that way. But right. afterwards, he might have thought, okay, well, maybe she, maybe that's not really there, because um, maybe I'm, you know, taking in too much water you, and I'm starting to lose it. You actually get to, you get to try to uh, examine, well, so if you were to get to it and examine it, you can potentially succeed in realizing that it's not real. I would have gone that way to begin with, for sure. So All right. So in that, that case, then, so you there. you swim, yeah, you swim your your full speed towards uh, the what you see there, uh, and reaching it, uh, it's. I would say that you can go ahead and make your check to see whether you can decipher if it's real or not. It's an investigation, and it's only a fourteen. You have to beat. Oh, you, uh, here, let me grab this. You looking out at this, uh, this, this swimming form in front of you, uh, you start to notice that there's, there's a, a certain kind of a sinuous grace that, that just was never there in real life. And you can tell that this cannot be real and you are immediately, uh, uh, just suffering it, just a, a crippling, uh, sadness that this can't be real, but you, you just wanted so badly to believe it. You get a 15. Okay. You recognize that that's not really her. Cool. Uh, uh, and that would have been your action, so you still have a bonus action. Um, actually, I'm just going to you know try to get back up to the surface and then be ready to get out of the water on my next turn. Okay. Uh, you grab onto the side of that, but that, that scaffolding okay. or that, that uh, wall above you is like you can grab onto the side and hold on, but you're going to have to spend like an action to pull yourself up. It's, it wouldn't be quite as simple as just moving out. You'll have to like pull your. Uh, we'll, we'll call it a bonus action, especially with your athletics. Uh, okay. So on your next turn, anyways, but you're all holding onto the side for now. Uh, it is actually we did them already, so it is Shan's turn. I hope Shan just single-handedly brings this thing down <laughs> by uh, nibbling it on its open. fucking weird octopus dick, whatever's down there. It's taken 110 total damage, guys. So, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you that it doesn't have a ton of hit points. I mean, it's it's feasible. You guys can finish it off, especially if you can, you know, manage to pull off your plans here. Not with that. Not with that. That misses. Yep, she's done. And it is, it is Pogo's turn. You are flapping maybe 10 feet away from the uh, from the elves who are using pickaxes against the base of the stalactite. So I'm going to use a free action. I'm going to whisper down to Artemis. Artemis. I might be able to bring that stalagmite down, but I'm going to be visible afterwards. I'm also very small. What do you think? Box? Uh, I'm not really sure what to do. I can't actually answer them. 
Yeah, you can't. You oh, can't that's right. <laughs> I mean, I just twitch my antenna to okay. let him know I heard him, but like, right. other than I'm that, gonna, nothing. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking do this shit. I'm going to. Uh, how big is the style slagmite above my above the area? It's uh, so it's kind of varying as her wings flap as it's moving forward and back. Uh, Ten at the max distance and five at the shortest distance. Oh no, no, I mean, how big is it? What's the center point away from the edges? Oh, diameter of the base mm-hmm. of it? Four and a half, five feet, probably. Oh, that's not that small. That's not that big. That was bigger that's, than that. Well, no, it's long though. It's that's just the base. It's like a, it's like a tree that's hanging out of the top of the ceiling. Okay, uh, I am going to. Fuck it. Uh, I am going to just cast. Remember, railroad spike through a human head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to cast shatter up at the <laughs> okay. base. Now, here's okay. the deal, too. Uh, You're going to fuck all the elves. Yep. yep. Uh, I'm going to cast shatter. Fuck. I got to cast it at level four. Oh, <laughs> all right. It's Why the don't only. You sell it to get away before casting it. Well, I'll do that here, but I'm going to I'm going to cast it at level 4 and before I cast a <laughs> spell I'm just going to yell Move away from that big fucking rock, you goddamn spider elves. As loud <laughs> okay. as I can. Okay. And do I have to cast a hit or do I just and I'm going to try to do it to where I'm envisioning in my mind an area like right at the s- center base of that uh stalagmite. Yeah, that's um, fine. Yeah, you can. I mean, you okay. can aim it. To I'm not the, you trying. I'm trying to hit it like in the middle to where I don't cause as much destruction. Yeah, as, not, uh, not as, to try to hurt them, but to try to you know yeah. cause as much uh, uh, cracking on this like my. And that's going to be oh, at level four. All right. Which is going to be? Uh, let's see here. Uh, isn't it automatically max damage? Hang on. Oh, if it's a thing, it doesn't have to. I, I, I thought so. Let me. If, well, if it's, so if, it's, if, it's uh, if it's uh, mineral, rather. Um, I actually think it might be double damage if it's uh it's something like that. I'm reading it right now. A creature made of okay, it's just creatures of inorganic materials such as stone, crystal, and metal have disadvantage on the save. So that's this is the creature, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, so that's gonna do <laughs> nineteen damage to the middle of the stone. There was fifteen left for it to get through. <laughs> the the cracking of shatter just just erupts through it, uh, sending all of the elves kind of kind of flipping and covering their heads, you know, pulling their veils up over their eyes, uh, trying to to cover themselves as best as possible. Having heard your shout, uh, as the the shatter cracks through the base of the stalactite, it begins to plummet towards the creature's head. Uh, who wants to to make the roll for it? Not me. Fuck that. It's 4d20, so whoever wants to roll it. For 11 bombs is only 4d20? Right. No, the stalactite oh. is 4d20. Oh, 4d20. I'll roll it. What's that, Fox? Yeah, you guys it's, can each roll one. Let's all each roll one. Let's all each yeah. roll one. Which one is okay? It's your normal d20, yeah. So. Mother <laughs> fucking <laughs> God. Tits. Um, Perfect. Face. Right team. <laughs> all right. Well, hey, you know what? That honestly, that all averaged out to like ten. That's, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, five plus nineteen plus sixteen—a total of forty damage, guys. And literally half of what it could have been. Perfect. Right on the spot. Yeah. See. Uh, Look at us. <laughs> Law of averages. Okay. Woo-hoo. So now you need to light the bombs, and I drop the back. Well, that's uh, my next that thing. Is, but, uh, yeah. Uh, well, okay. So you cast a shatter, which was your action. Yeah. Uh, so it would be just. I'm, I'm literally like holding it, and now that it's dropped, I basically would just try to light the bag on fire with like a free action or bonus action. Either uh, it's gonna definitely take an action to hit that with the torch. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, you're you're hanging off the side and like not. Prepped. What's that? He prepped to do it though. Well, but ready. then I well, used that was, my action that was the, to cast yeah. shatter. Well, not only that, but you ready your action, and now it is your turn, which means that ready to action was gone. It's that's that was uh, your previous turn that came around before your turn came up. Yeah, so the problem is it's the it's the turn order that kind of fucked us yeah. on that idea. Because otherwise, well, but it also, you got shatter off, so I mean it still yep. worked out. Yeah. So it's a thing, but now I'm not invisible, so let's see what happens. Okay. So you are well around the base of you know like the stump of what the, where the stalagmite or stalactite was. Stalactite falls through the air. You guys look down. Uh, uh, Pogo, you now see, of course, as soon as you look down, you see uh, you know your legs and your arms trying to hold onto the side of the uh, invisible dragonfly there just kind of floating very awkwardly in space 
as the stalactite falls through the air and and just pierces square into the just above the the, the row of the three eyes uh, into this creature's brain, presumably. Uh, in fact, actually, I have seen a diagram of an abolith brain <laughs> that somebody <laughs> drew. So I was literally imagining where's what the, part of the brain the, is like here. Yeah. Where's the spider no, image? The, Where's the image? The brain is actually huge. Like I, I for real, I could have put it in there. Would have been cool. But the, the <laughs> lobes of the, whoever did the, you know, the uh, uh, physiology of an abolith literally drew out what the lobes of the brain are, and there's five of them. Um, so anyway, it's a bunch of bunch of cool stuff. Uh, so sorry, I just saw that. I forget that I see messages if you guys send them. Uh, so I, did, I, I was thinking that Artem had sent that to me. Uh, stalactite pierces into the into the creature's, uh, uh, you know mucusy skin uh it just just screeches in this fury and begins to sink into the water uh trying to avoid it uh it is severely injured it still has a good chunk of hit points left but i mean it's it's low enough you guys can finish it off if you were you know not if you don't fail and die i i know i'm i'm, I'm trying to respond well but hang on she's still a dragonfly so 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 I know. so fox can tell just or fox can tell justin but uh, uh artemis can't tell pogo yeah i get it also, yeah. I, I were... It's 200 feet. You're only 40 feet up. 45, yeah. 50 feet up. And we are about 100 feet away. So we're 145 feet away from... Oh, from them. Anybody. I see what you mean. Uh, they're 75-ish feet away from you. Yeah. No. Yeah, maybe 100 um, feet. Yeah. The stone? Hello? Or communication stones? Oh, you communication stones. Talking. No, I yeah. meant like... I don't know if it would make much difference. Um... All right. Yep. Yeah, uh, I'll. Uh, nah, it's, it's too late. I wouldn't have thought of it, and I didn't think of it. So. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> well, I mean, you guys only have to maybe survive one more round, hopefully. So you know, if you guys can get that set off. The good news but. is they just saw me become visible too. I mean, I'm yeah. I'm, I'm now visible. Yeah. By the way, Sarah saw nothing. Oh, okay. Is Sarah Please. still underwater? Nope. She no. In transparent hypnotic pattern. Got yep. it, got it, got it. And is Norok also underwater? <laughs> Norok's underwater, yeah. Okay, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> nothing nothing matters, guys. Uh, yeah, Ozzy, Ozzy probably saw it, especially hearing the shatter go off, you know, sure. on, the, on the ceiling there. But most important, though, is the warrior now knows you guys are there. Because yeah. shatter went off, and now it's aware that there are six elves and a halfling right next to the ceiling, of course, very much within reach. Yeah, so but, that's, that's good know. news. What are you gonna do? Is that good news? <laughs> good news for sure. What are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Uh, life's, uh, the... life's hard, guys. We just gotta get through it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Ozzy. Oh shit! I forgot to roll something for him. Hang on. Uh, all right, so you guys wouldn't be able to tell that anyway. Sarah potentially oh my could. Gosh. Please so, don't tell me Oz is going to disappear now, please. Uh, so, so you guys have noticed that he's getting less and less. Uh, uh, he's getting more translucent. I guess is how I'd say that. Like you've seen him over time. That's why he was rushing you in the first place. Uh, but he is still there, at least at the moment. Not that you guys can actually see it. Um, but that's exactly what I was rolling for, Fox. So you, you almost had it. He almost disappeared. Called it. <laughs> yeah, I knew uh, it. <laughs> Uh, he is going to lightning bolt again, knowing that he can at least hit it, and if he saves, it'll still do half damage. So knows that that would be a potentially useful thing, having seen this creature just take a giant spike remember, in the brain. The creature knows I'm there, but he doesn't know that there's a giant bug with a pile of bombs. That's so true. Maybe but if he aims not... for you, I yeah, have but maybe <laughs> maybe I'm not the prerogative. Maybe he's not going to be like, well. That Except that there's fucker, six elves standing around you too, with, that with you know clearly did glowing. Drop a rock. <laughs> well, all of them. I mean, he's, he can yeah. see seven targets. He can't see the uh, the dragonfly. And I'll tell you though that the dragonfly gets one tiny swipe, and those are, those wings are broken. Yep. You know that they're, they're fragile wings. So well, next time I, turn into an F sixteen. What? Like an Apache in helicopter or something. In the motion. <laughs> Just also, into why it. do I get good ideas while we're in game when I can't talk? <laughs> yeah, specifically when you can't actually, you know, communicate the, those ideas. I, like, I'm blank. My mind is all, almost like blank. I have to think you, to think it. And then it so that's the thing head, about this. And I'm like, oh my. I feel like that's one of the neat things about D&D is it's very fluid. Like it's not, it's very dynamic. It's not like a static game. So you're just kind of yeah. like, all right, well, this is what we're fucking doing now. 
yep. you're a goddamn bug, and we'll just see what happens. <laughs> yeah, it just it happens so fast. Like things yeah. change too fast to like you know have too many plans ahead anyway. Especially as a DM, obviously, as you see that now. All right, it is Sarah's turn. Uh, you are currently incapacitated. At the end of your turn, you can attempt to uh, uh, break the uh, hypnotic pattern. Uh, let me bring up the spell again. I'm pretty sure it's at the end of your turn. Uh, wisdom save. Yep. Um. Do to do, do. It is. Uh, if it takes any damage, or if someone else uses an action to shake the creature out. Um, that is it. Actually, there is no. Each creature in the area who sees a pattern must make a wisdom saving throw on a failed state. Creature becomes charmed for the duration. Uh, while charmed by the spell, the creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero, and it ends if you take damage or if someone else shakes you out of it, which means you do not get to make a save to get out of it. Great. So that's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Uh, and Launder doesn't understand. He, he would not recognize you know, that, that he could hit you to, to break you out of that. Uh, let's see. You are still injured. Ozzy is injured as well. And Well, actually, his Injuries wouldn't be visible, so he's not going to do anything there. Um, he gave you the bag. Yeah, the only thing, okay. Um, the best he's got is Thunder Wave, so he's going to Thunder Wave the creature, uh, trying to bite back his fear as best he can. He's going to try to Thunder Wave the warrior. Uh, which he succeeds on. Uh, is that half damage on success, or is it nothing? Is Thunder Wave the one where you got to be like within 15 feet, though? No, 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 no. It's a 15 oh. foot. Oh, hang on. It is. Yes, it is. Never mind. You got to be like up in, in its yep. face. Yeah, it's a, it's a 15 foot cube. I was thinking that was the uh, uh, Thunder Thunder Step is the one I was thinking of. Okay, um, thunder, there's another Thunder one, too. There's three or four, yeah. Thunder Step is a teleportation one. Um, he can't do much then, and he isn't going to approach it. He's still, still too scared. He's actually going to run back this way uh, to about here. And that is it for his turn, then. Uh, you know, he's, he's going to go ahead and bonus action to heal Sarah, because she still has some small wounds. Yay. Uh, two. Uh, sorry, well, total of six. He rolled two ones, so a total of six. Uh, but healing does not break you out of it. That's right. Like I said, at least I won't die from this. <laughs> well, yeah, anyway. <laughs> night's, still, night's still long. All right, uh, coming back around. It is later action time. Um, what's that? You gotta give me some hope. <laughs> you get no hope. Then you'll like it. You. Uh, let's see. Four. Well, looking up and seeing Pogo there, the elves are kind of uh, pulled away, and, and uh, uh, you know it, it did not look like that because, especially because they were jumping away from the uh, uh, stalagmite. It looks or stalactite rather. It does look like Pogo had dropped it, so he's going to <laughs> attempt to um, bring it on. Okay, but you're not going to like this. Um, go ahead and give me a wisdom save. It's a 17. Whoo! All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> the odds of this are 5, 10, 15%. How so, how so low? Because I oh, because your modifier zero. sucks. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, all right. So I'll go ahead and tell you, uh, he was trying to command you to drop, which would have, you know, dropped you 50 feet, hit him in the carapace, fall in the water, and he would have immediately had a grapple on you. Like, so. he, he doesn't know, but I want to get on that carapace. I'm just going to start stabbing with my dagger. <laughs> All right, well, maybe if you'll maybe get to it, too. Yeah. Let's see what happens. I, uh, so he actually can do it as a bonus action now anyways. Uh, but... Norok is trying to climb up out of the water. Probably wouldn't do anything there because Norok is currently essentially incapacitated anyways. Would throw it at Ozzy instead. So he's going to... Oh, actually, he's going to try to whip uh, Norok with his regular damage tentacles. So Norok, you might get smacked while you're trying to climb. You got a 24, so that hits. Half damage for Norok. Uh, almost, if anything, kind of pushes you up, uh, up uh, back onto the wall almost. Uh, and then a well, you know what? Actually, he would still try to smack Sarah. I think, anyways, because he can't really do. Let's see. Man, they got an eighteen. It hits. Well, uh, I mean, that's good for you. It's nine damage, but that's good for you. Yeah. You realize why? Yeah. I'm no longer hypnotized. Yeah. So you, you're no longer staring at uh, rainbows. He missed Ozzy. I was kind of hoping he was going to miss you, but he didn't. 
I accidentally so, just dropped damage on him. <laughs> there we go. All right, that is it for his turn. It is Artemis. Oh, sorry, he's got a bonus action. Uh, you know what? It's just too fun to not do it. He is going to try to repeat uh, his command at uh, at Sarah this time. Uh, give me a d4. Give me a d4. You guys are close enough to each other that he would try it again. One and two is you. All right, Yay. so on Ozzy then instead. Uh, attempt to command. Do, do, do. So there it is. Does, does, do 21. we know that if he dies in this weird form that he's in, does he die die? Or has he disappeared back to his other form? Would we know that? It's okay if we wouldn't. Uh, you know, go ahead and give me. It's it's a really high spell. It's it's astral projection is a spell. It's I think it's like eighth or ninth level. Um, really high. So, but I, I doubt. I doubt. Here, let me double check. It's, it can't be quite that high because there's only like four or nine level spells. Uh, but go ahead and give me. Can do this shit. <laughs> Uh, hang on. It no, is... I do not know. I do not understand what's happening. You made your your check. Yeah, it was a four. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, it was an eight with my plus four. Ninth level. It is ninth level. Shit. Jesus. I didn't realize that would be on a spell list. Oh uh, yeah, go ahead. Now that you're out of it, sure. I mean, to at least recognize what would happen. I'm gonna convince Ozzy to come with us next time. <laughs> we end up just yeah. getting a dog with some bombs. <laughs> Uh, it's, it would not be uh, neither of you would have a awareness of how this spell might work you did see though that, that uh, I guess I'll point this out to you you guys had asked a couple of questions that he had not answered previously uh, in fact the last session but you did notice one thing that I'll point out to you that I don't think you guys as players noticed but your characters probably would have and it is that when Pogo or Sarah tried to touch I think it was Pogo tried to touch him your hand went through him remember but when Pogo dropped, the, I'll just tell you it's a key, but when he dropped the key on the ground, that thing, that, that uh, thing that Pogo thought was your goal here, the Wooden Sage's course, when Pogo dropped that on the ground, he did pick it up and put it in a pocket and it did disappear yeah. as far as you can see. Which means that he does have the ability to be solid when he wants and not other times, if that makes sense. So you would have, you would have noticed that only having seen him. All right, it is Artemis turn. You still have inspiration. You are uh, flapping and invisible with Pogo now visible, uh, kind of hanging off your side. Uh, holding the, uh, clutching the bag of bombs. So, uh, there's not really much I could do. You do see Pogo still holding the torch, kind of in the direction of the bombs. Okay. He did cast shatter, but he's still holding the torch, so. I guess I'll move it closer to be right above it. Can she ready an action to drop him as soon as I oh, light yeah. him? Is that an option? Yeah, of course. Okay. Wasn't sure if dropping them would be like a some sort of other thing. I would say that that's even a free action. It wouldn't even be Got anything it. she needs to do. That she could just you know do that. It'd kind of coordinate the two of you together. Let's do the two lights, and I'm dropping it. Okay. Uh, then you still have action, bonus action. I mean, it's just for for dropping it. That's really not even. That's not movement or anything. It's literally just let you you know let it go. So I'm do you have anything move, else you want to do? I'm just gonna move to like right on top of it and like stay high enough. I was gonna say I don't know how many. Bonus action. <laughs> tentacles try and hit us. I'm just going to try and evade it. Okay. All right. So you're going to then spend your action as dodge. That would be perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you'll you'll have advantage on any. The creature will have disadvantage on trying to hit you. Is how it'll work uh, for any attacks to do it to try to attack you. Uh, I can't see you specifically, so it'd have disadvantage on top of that, which means I would just give it a bonus to your AC. So all right. So that if your turn, then Fox. Fox? Uh, yes. All right. Then it is Nox's turn. You are on the edge there. It's going to take your bonus action to climb out the rest of the wagey, but you are pretty much, like, real close to it, right up in its face. Okay. The spike just smacked it in into the, you know, in the back of its head, and it kind of lunged it forward uh, with the with the pain of the, um, of the stalactite. Um, it is, I would say if you're at the edge there, it's within melee range, you could try to hit it. I just realized this would be Norok's first attempt at melee this entire fight. This has, not been, a very, this has not been a very friendly fight for, for a melee character. The guy was a football field away. He did carve through fucking like three quarters of the guys up at the at the stage above, yeah. though. And the uh, elephant, too. Yeah. 
I spent that entire time just unconscious. <laughs> If you rolled a crit, you could maybe get enough. I'm not sure if you could quite make this, because it's pretty high. All right, that hits. You still got a good chunk of HPs left. We're actually not taking a lot of damage. We just keep getting weird shit happening to us. Yeah, he's got a ton of control effects, and he didn't get his enslaved back yet either, so... Wait, expired in? Hang on. Oh, he failed his he failed his save on the spell to keep the incapacitation effect up on Sarah, but it was already dropped anyway, so it didn't matter. I, I was, okay. Go ahead. I was seeing the, the concentration effect, and I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. Uh, Twenty four damage. There's a, a good chunk of, of what remained of it. Uh, as this spike is just pouring this this uh, mucusy blood, uh, you bring the axe down into uh, the, the space just in front of its eyeballs. Uh, and you are immediately sprayed back with this, just a, this um, uh, kind of air, like a, like popping a, like a water balloon. The, the water sprays back at you of this kind of mucusy stuff that just, just splashes all over your, your arms and your chest. Uh, it begins to kind of sink into the skin. It feels uh, uh, certainly caustic, uh, not enough to injure, but it definitely does not feel comfortable. Uh, second one hits. Shit, that's a good hit too. Uh, he's close. He's still got he's still got a good chunk left, but uh, you, guys are, you guys are close to finishing him off. All right. Last how swing. Are, how are none of us dead yet? You guys have gotten really lucky. Like his rolls have not been great. That hits as well. It was 25 from that one. Jesus. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I assume this thing had like 400 or 500 hit he had, points. He had 200 hit points. And I'll show you the, uh, the last damage there. Exceed hit points by two. Barely oh, made it. I was not expecting Noark to do fucking 75 damage in a single you know, melee round. He did 25 for the first swing. But 21 for the first damage. Uh... 24 for the second one and the 28 for the last one uh cleaving into this open uh spot in its face uh just just carving through the same spot over and over again being covered repeatedly with this splash of this viscous liquid um as soon as it splashes onto you norok you 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 feel that it's getting hard to breathe and you're starting to choke a little bit and it's getting harder and harder to breathe as this thing begins to slowly sink into the water it is still moving by the way, it's, it is clearly not dead, but it is sinking into the water and beginning to pull away from you. Yeah, no, we're dropping these fucking bombs. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, that's it for your turn, G. Um, actually, um, I think I probably have a few feet of movement. I'm going to move back a little bit if I can. Okay. It does not, uh, you know, there's no opportunity attack of it trying to hit you or anything, so don't worry about that. Uh, that's going to move the whole creature, so uh, don't worry about it. You can just leave yourself there. That's fine. If I, gra okay. if I try to grab you now, it's just going to grab the creature. All right, uh, would be Shan's turn. Is Shan still pursuing or anything? If he's not, like, dead dead, then she is still there. Okay, so he, he, he is retreating, I guess is how I'll tell you that. So, I mean, it's still, she is still going to chase him. Is there, like, a max range that she would chase to or anything? Uh, whatever. Or just him pound him forever? Shan's going to be there forever <laughs> until it dies. Uh, I think he can swim a lot faster than she can, so. Uh, <laughs> so, like, so, so, on to it, can, so if she can reach him, she'll hit him. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll the attack, and, and you know if she hits, you can roll the damage. The threshold of HPs that I put on there was for when he would retreat, by the way, so... Uh, that hits. That makes more sense. I figured it's not really fair if I put him under the water, since you guys wouldn't be able to get to him too much there, except for just Fox. And the water's I don't know. Explosions still work in the water. The oh yeah, I, I don't mean that. I mean I mean that uh, I wasn't going to make you guys you know have to. It's yeah. up to you if you want to continue. I just wanted to you know at least have you guys have the option to to end there. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean you don't see this of course, but Shan is is certainly biting as best she can under the water. All right, it is Artemis' turn. Wait, Artemis? Pogos. 
Oh, sorry, Pogo's turn. Yeah. Uh, so, Pogo, seeing this giant thing getting attacked and starting to freak out and retreat, is going to immediately light the bag on fire. First, he's going to drop the... Uh, uh, actually, no, not yet. He's going to light the bag on fire, and he's just going to say, Drop the bag into its fucking head! <laughs> All right. And as an action, uh, he's actually going to uh, use <laughs> his mage hand to try to guide it like a missile and to make sure it stays on course to this <laughs> fucking to whatever okay, push it, push it along the middle of its fucking head. Just a little bit okay. of a push while it's falling down. It's nearly underwater. Point. It's nearly underwater at this point, but there's still probably a 10 foot diameter like skin, you know, spot of skin that's still above the water. Uh, go ahead and make a uh, dex check for trying to kind of push it and guide it. It'll still, you know, the space that's above the water, uh, below the water would still be... Okay. Uh, you managed to to drop this flaming... Artemis, you did drop it, right? When he yeah. lit the bag? Okay. You're not going to blow up, you know, suicide up there? Uh, no, I just <laughs> okay. Uh, the, the flaming bag goes plummeting down. It does have to be pushed slightly uh, to, to kind of still hit the spot that is above the water. Uh, it uh, 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 smashes into the, the uh, skin of the creature, splashing up enough of a little bit of this poisonous water. Uh, you're afraid at first that the bag might, uh, might go out. Uh, and just a, a half second later, uh, the bag erupts and explodes as this cacophonous explosion surrounding you. Uh, Norak would be thrown back, uh, but not enough to actually do damage, just enough to splash more water. Uh, but, uh, guys, as far as the dice roll... Uh, fly away now. It, it is 36. Okay, yeah, I mean, if you, yeah, you were ready enough to do so. That's, I was going to say, fine. go down lower! Go down lower! Drop me <laughs> on this big fucking head! <laughs> All right, so it is 36d6 to roll, guys. So who wants to do the roll for that? Oh, Jesus, how? Because it's 3d6 three three six for each bomb, and there's 12 I mean, how do you roll 3d6? Oh, six? oh, oh uh, I think... Uh, hang on. 36d6. Uh, I think you can just do... Nope. Uh, roll 36d6? Let me try that. Nope. Uh, Got here, it. Uh, roll it. Got it. Okay, all right. Uh, that's, that's probably yeah. That's probably fair. I don't know if that's actually thirty-six or not. Did you actually count them? I did count individually. That's thirty-six. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Uh, the uh, explosion of guts and viscera of this creature of probably you know three to four brains. It's thirty-seven, so it's actually one hundred nineteen damage. <laughs> uh, this this eruption uh, blasts a uh, just a cavernous. Uh, uh, caldera in this creature in the side of this creature's head. It was turning to the side to try to go under the water. Uh, there, there's, there's really no way it's going to survive that. It is no longer moving and is sinking. I'm going to uh, me in its fucking skull hole. I'm going to go <laughs> fucking murder this thing. <laughs> uh, so it is. It, it's uh, very much just sinking beneath the waves. No longer moving. The tendrils no, or the tentacles not, not swimming uh, any further. Uh, until it begins to disappear beneath the purple uh, water here. There we go. All right. So <laughs> with all of that, that was fucking three sessions, three whole sessions basically leading up to that. Uh, the creature not moving. Uh, Ar uh, uh, Ozzy begins to actually is Sarah's not currently frozen. Uh, Ozzy uh, floats down to the uh, scaffolding over here. I'm going to go ahead and reduce the size of the creature so that it's out of the way a little bit. Just delete that big fucker. Yeah. Will that make you happy? There you go. Yeah, well. dead. Oh, I like that <laughs> he's like slightly under the water. That's fucking cool. Oh yeah, I, I put that. Uh, I put the art there so that it would still look cool when it's uh, you know when it's gone. Um, at first, I was and, trying to figure out how I was going to do it as far as the math, you know, how, as far as the you know platform made sense. Uh, so I thought that would look cool. Before we land, I'm going to go ahead and stand up carefully on the dragonfly with my arms wide and say. Look at this amazing power of flight! <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to drop my concentration on it. So She's it's, still invisible, so... Oh, yeah, I'm drop, drop okay. my concentration afterwards, okay. and then it's just a bug, and I'm flying it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, that uh, giant gaping wound in your brain is probably still hurting pretty severely, too. Well, right. yeah, that's why I, I, I couldn't do any attack spells. They're all at disadvantage. I didn't feel like fucking. Oh, is that why? Okay, I, I was yeah. thinking you were just burned out on spell slots. You just didn't want to risk them or something. Yeah, I only makes... had two spell slots, and by the time I thought of, oh, I should cast water breathing on everybody. Everybody was too far. <laughs> it's also poison, though. So. 
<laughs> yeah, but at least you'd be able to breathe and you wouldn't drown to death. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's always a bonus. Poison can always be cured! <laughs> Well, you guys, uh, uh, after collecting there, you see, you know, everybody kind of gathering together on this platform there. Uh, Ozzy kind of floats his way down until he lands on the platform, and you can see that he's beginning to, like, uh, phase out, like a, uh, like, like a TV that's being tuned. Uh, well, Fox wouldn't get that reference, of course. Wow! Uh, you, know, <laughs> uh, you know, TVs back when they, uh, they had to tune between channels. Um, but he's kind of beginning to fade in and out a little bit. Um, he says, oh, apologies for my late arrival and quick departure, friends. Pogo, your your message had a worrying ring to it, so I found what knowledge I could in the Crowforce library, and uh, suffice it to say, I couldn't, you know, leave you to deal with that risk alone. So, did you see that? Fu- what was that thing? It tried to talk to me, and I told it to fuck off. And what was that? What did we just murder? You mean your friend back there? No, I don't care about her. We just met her. That was like a day and a half. She didn't even want any cheese or uh, anything. <laughs> she didn't want any cheese. So, uh, it's, it's been three days, by the way, guys. It's it's like three days and a couple hours since you guys left the Grove Fort. So, so, so what 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 was that? That we know that's been causing all these problems here, but what was that thing? It's that creature is the well, let's say the ex uh, current incarnation of the Knight of High House Chaos. It's so a, let's a, just a pretend that shot. I. Oh yeah, yeah, Shug, yeah, that one. Shug, Shug is the old god of chaos. It's it's one of the four like real, tangential gods. And I'm gonna I'm gonna yell up and be like, "Did you hear that, elves? We just murdered a god of chaos." So, speaking of, uh, when you look up to shout at them, you see the six of them uh, floating down where they they flipped right side up again and are kind of floating down almost the same way that uh, that. Uh, um, Ozzy just did, uh, floating down to come kind of gather around in the platforms. They're not quite there yet, but they are kind of on, on their way. So we just killed a god for ya. You're no, welcome. You're, you're mistaken. That That's... Uh, think of it like a lieutenant of the god. He just kind of chuckles at you. For you. He says, but, but, <laughs> but suffice it to say, you know, you, you've, you've all given up so much already. I intend to make sure that your sacrifices were not in vain. Um, before I go, I, I, I don't have long, and he kind of looks down at himself. He says, uh, the state of things at the Crow Fort has, has not changed much since you left for your little island vacation, but, uh, you know, no further skirmishes have been broken out, but uh, the Legion's dead are still surrounding us, and I believe they intend to remain there until they've captured the scales. Um, oh, and uh, for you, he looks at Pogo again, he says, one of the Cranog regulars, uh, a man by the name of Bert, he oh, took up residence... Bert. He took up residence in your kettle keep. Uh, he insisted that you would give him permission. Yeah, that's fine. Bert's fine. He he gives you have kind of a Ernie, squint, like have a, Ernie like a... showed up. Uh, Ernie's fine too. <laughs> uh, his, his hetero life like maker. Ernie... I like to picture Jeremy like scratching out Ernie. <laughs> like, I guess, <laughs> well, I guess Ernie's not uh, showing up. Yep, our like future plans. Like they saw that one coming. <laughs> Got to scratch that out. <laughs> no, he's fine. He's harmless. He can just hang out there and. He gives you like a suspicious squint, like, you know, if this is the company you keep kind of thing. Um, he says, well, I'm, I'm afraid my projection is waning, friends. Uh, I mean, make haste in your mission. Uh, my EB main remains in constant suffering, and if her strength falls below where we can heal her, our chances of avoiding this war diminish pretty greatly with her passing. So the sooner you can make it back, the better. Thank you, and we will be back as soon as we can, I guess. Yeah, we would really appreciate the help and uh, way to just do some cool magic. Appreciated that. Not quite That's sure if we made it through that without you just showing up <laughs> willy nilly. Uh, he he kind of he winks at Sarah uh, and then he says, I'll, "I'll see you all soon. Return safely." Oh, did Artemy change back? Yeah, I'm gonna still... change back. Okay, all right, let me As go they're your... talking, I'm gonna change back. Okay. Oh, he kind of smiles seeing you. You know, up here, he, he wasn't sure who this giant. Uh, 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 Dragonfly was, so he kind of gives you a smile when he sees you reappearing. Um, and he says, uh, I'll see you soon. Uh, just return safely. And the blue circle uh, fades into existence around his feet, uh, and then the astral projection kind of sinks down into it, and then the circle fades out, and he's gone. That was a cool fucking trick. We need to bring him on these little adventures of ours more. Hey, Launder, how, how are you doing, Launder? Are you okay? You're less scared now. See? Told you just as planned. <laughs> uh, he is visibly shivering. Um, he says, 
I, 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 I can't. I, I, I mean, he's kind of like stammering over himself. He says, "How do you I, how do you feel? Do you feel any different? Do you feel better at all?" But I know we just literally murdered it like eight seconds ago. <laughs> uh, as you say that, the elves from the ceiling are settling down around you. So the six of them, there's you know, they, they're kind of surrounding. I didn't put their tokens on because uh, I'd have them in a single sure, token on the, for the squad. But um, as far as the map is concerned, they're just kind of you know landing on the area around you. The water is still sloshing all around. By the way, still very purple, uh, but it's not touching you guys or anything. Um, but they've, you know, landed around you anyways. Uh, as their feet touch the ground, that the glow, you know, around their feet begins to fade, um, and you see that there are tears streaming down. You recognize Sandway amongst the, the, the daughter of the chieftain, remember? Um, and there's tears Sandway. streaming down her. <laughs> I didn't even, that never even crossed my mind. Um, I mean, his name is Nodway and hers is Sandway. Then you guys, I don't think anybody picked Nodway. it up. Nodway. I asked, yeah, because I'm like, those names are really similar, so I had yeah. asked. Um, yep. yeah. um, but she's pulling her veil away. This is the first time that you guys have seen any of their faces. They all start to do the same, but you can see that there's tears streaming down her face. And it kind of, in answer almost to Pogo's question as they were landing there, uh, she says, I, I don't hear his whispers anymore. Uh, I'm, I'm cautious to hope, but we may have done it. We, we might have freed our people from, from in the, the uh, launder starts kind of kind of chuffing and, uh, you know, he might be crying in dog. He just you know, there's not like a <laughs> dogs don't really cry if that makes sense. Just like, uh, but it's like a chuffing <laughs> sound. It sounds, it sounds awkward and, and strange a little bit. Um, and Therese interrupts the, the the leader of this the squad. Uh, she interrupts. She says, "With your help, um, I, I, I must admit I, I feared the worst. So, on our way here, I sent word to the Elantari, so queen. Uh, I informed our queen that we aimed to end the encroaching threat of the Worgen curse with a group of outsiders, and I told her the reward you seek." She agreed to your terms, and she has dispatched a company of archaeologists, and she looks at Artemis, uh, including your mother's sister, Lyraleth, to recover the Wood Sage's chorus and, and, uh, at the ruins at Oman Alore. This is a place that Artemis knows, and none of the rest of you would. Did, 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 did you say mother's sister? Are we in the Arkansas of the Mother's sister. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Got it. Dude. I didn't hear it. I just heard Oh, your mother's that explains, sister. That explains so much. Artemis is your inbred, cousin right? wife. <laughs> <laughs> I got oh, very sorry. confused. All right, sorry, I didn't do that in character. That was that was me uh, just trying to figure out what actually was said. So uh, no, Ar it. Artemis' aunt, uh, which Artemis, you recognize, of course, you know your your aunt, but she's a famous historian and archaeologist, and where you kind of got your love of. Uh, you know, relic hunting and digging and going into tombs or uh, into uh, archaeological digs and things of that sort. Um, but anyway, she sent Lyraleth with a company of archaeologists to go recover the Wood Sages Chorus uh, at these ruins that were destroyed. You know, Artemis, you know that these ruins were destroyed during the Vine Lashes destruction. Um, okay. But Therese says, once recovered, the Queen has agreed to, to lend you the artifact for your temporary purpose. Awesome. And Damn that right, where... that's awesome. <laughs> that's the thing. That's what we need. Thank you. We appreciate that very much. And I'd like to, to thank them for helping out. But we really probably couldn't have killed this thing without you. And you couldn't have done it without us. Don't just pretend. You admit it. It was a group effort. Uh, you can nice. actually see her face now. So they, they pull their veils free. Uh, and she, she kind of grins. She says... I, I, I must, you know, as, as much as it pains me to do so, I must admit that it was certainly a team effort, and, and without your presence and willingness to help here, despite your cost, despite what you're asking for in place of it, uh, this this gift you've given us is invaluable. Hey, and remember, we're just borrowing it. We'll bring it back. We just need to use it real quick, and then we'll bring it back. You can trust us now. We literally just killed this semi-demigod guy here. We're not going to go through all this and then just lay, blow up your elvish skirts. Not she, really out of way. <laughs> she grins at Sandway. She says, "Yeah, we we know we can trust you on it. Remember, Sandway gave you. She she tested you guys for truthfulness with that uh, with that uh, other arc. You guys have seen her use. That's right. Not a truth. So, 